No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today we got an epic moment going on. We got the hottest up and coming rapper out of Chicago on the podcast. Does that sound fair? Hottest up and coming. You don't want to just be like the hottest in general. You feel like you ain't, you ain't got that yet. No, no, I ain't got that yet. Okay, up and, way, though. up and coming works though. Yeah, for sure. But it's been a long journey. Yeah, for sure. You've been grinding for a long time in order to even get to this place right now. It's Taste Savage on the podcast. Yeah. How you feeling, man? And I got my man Remo with me. What's up? What up? What up? What's going on? So, uh, is this your first time in LA? No, no, I'd be uh, kind of frequent. What, what, what else you had going on out here? People, you know, family. And shit. You got family out here? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I'm all through Cali. Okay. What, so, but what brought you out here this time? Um, I had got up with a uh, Gigi Gotti and uh, shot a video, shot like two more videos. Really, just really just work. Where, time. Where's the Gigi Gotti connection come from? Because he's from the battle rap world, so we don't really imagine them overlapping with the drill world that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're trying to. Probably start some new shit type shit, but just you know, <laughs> his people, my people, so they linked us in type type of thing. Really? Yeah. How do you know his people? Um, they from they from where I'm from? They from like Chicago, but they know him too though. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? They know his people too, so kind of like linked it in. Type I, I never network. thought I would see Tay Savage shouting out Nutty Block on his Instagram story, <laughs> but yeah. here we are. Because it's like, you know, there's the Chicago world and then there's the L.A. world, and we don't necessarily usually see that much crossover, you know? Yeah, I try to support anybody I cross paths with, you know? Mm. Type. That's what I be on. Well, what's your main thoughts on, like, seeing what an <laughs> L.A. hood is like versus where you're from, though? What were the biggest differences that stood out to you? Man, I like it. I, I like it because, you know, while I was locked up, I read a lot of books, mm. you know what I'm saying, about L.A. I used to see a lot of, like, Tukey Williams documentaries. And so, you know, to actually be there, it's like, man, it's crazy. It's real. He was in Compton yesterday, I think he I was seen in Compton. Yeah, that's what's up. He was in Compton. Man, we parked the car. We went to the club, parked the car. They done bust our windows. While you were at the club. <laughs> yeah, bust our windows. Were man. they they stole something out the car or you yeah, think it was took, just enemies you know, wanting yeah. to smash a no, window? Just, just, you know. Regular shit. Yeah. See, that's from Northern California, and then they brought it down here, and now they bipping cars down here too. Yeah, part bus stop. Damn, <laughs> that's crazy. But okay, so for the people who are not super familiar with the Tay Savage story, can we uh, kind of start at the beginning because you have a crazy ass story. Somebody was asking me like, what rappers I've been hyped on lately the other day in an interview, and I was like, yeah, you know, I'm into this guy Tay Savage. Like, he he just got locked up for ten years, so it's like he was stuck in a. A time warp, and now you're just back. Uh, so, can, but let's go from the beginning. Uh, yeah. Where exactly you grew up and everything? Yeah, well, I'm originally from '76 and raised in Rock Island. So my mom, my pops, you know what I'm saying. That's where everybody from. But I'm really the, from the low end. You know what I'm saying. I've been there shit, since I was a shorty or whatever. But okay, like and, the low end of Chicago, like 43rd, 4340, Welch Road. Right. And what was the environment like? Like, how would you describe it to somebody who's never been there? Like growing up, yeah. For us, you know, it was fun. It was dangerous, but for us, it was fun. Cause we used to it. You know what I'm saying? So we was chilling. We started out fighting. We used to fight. Um, thought it'd be wheels in high school. You know what I'm saying? But then some of them, not like some of my closest closest guys. You feel me? So yeah. Break down when you say the low end, because a lot of rappers from like both sides be saying they're from the low end. So the people who don't know what that mean, what that means. So so the low end is from state to the lake to Lake Michigan. From State Street to Lake Michigan, me personally, I say from from 55th. I say from really 51st, but some people say 55th. But 51st down to maybe like 20, maybe like 20, 21st or something. 21st. But so okay, people always say that you got locked up, kind of like as drill music started blowing up in Chicago or whatever. What was your perspective when you first saw Sosa and Reese and all these guys start? blowing up like where were you at in your life and, so, and what do you think so we had some rappers from our hood called buck 20 brick boys they was billionaire black and okay um j chris f dot chopper the goon so I, it's like a crazy story so f dot got a brother named d Gaines. d Gaines is like a famous uh what do you uh, video guy uh, video guy yeah right. wow okay. so they started like networking that way, like so we didn't really take it serious at first, you know what I'm saying? We like, man, this shit, like, what we gonna be rappers? Then you know, 
it really got to blowing up. I think Sosa started messing with D games, and then it just got to, it got to being a real thing. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, this it might be some some to it. But do you feel like when the drill wave came out that that made Chicago a lot more violent? I hear for that sure. a lot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I say that. Cause at first, you know, before then we was like, you know, shooting was going on, but we really was doing a lot of fighting. We we used to fight a lot in high school and stuff like that. Right, and then shit got so serious that that started to just feel like a memory pretty quickly. Yeah, quick, really, real quick, yeah. yeah, for sure. But you weren't thinking about making music yourself, or like, were, were you, you, know, you, you know, happy to just be around? You want to know what's crazy? A lot of people was telling me like, man, you should rap. One, one of the first people that told me to rap was Louis King Louis. He mm. like, man, man, you should, man, you should make something. So I'm like, man, nah, man, I can't rap. So he like, man, just make something. Man. I'm telling you, they gonna rock with it. And then I just never did it. What was your relationship with King Louis like? And talk about his legacy because he gets kind of left out of the conversation about important Chicago rappers from that time period. I mean, Louis was putting on for the city. Like I don't like I met him through through like like hanging with like certain people. Yeah, like hanging with like certain people. You feel me? I, I that's how I met him, but. He was putting on for the city. I really don't know what happened to him. I ain't really heard nothing from him or nothing. I know he got shot or whatever. Then he just kind of like fell back. But yeah, he definitely was putting on though. Like when I got locked up. What What made you not interested in making music at that time period? You just wanted to be like one of the homies. You didn't think you had the the star potential. Um, rapping not really. I mean, now you can say anything. As you can see, you you can say anything. And and but. It, it 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 wasn't really that easy to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I, I got the thoughts, I got the, I got the um, like the life experience. Yeah, the, the life experience. So I should be able. To, it was just it's just kind of hard to put it in in words and make sense and make you. You know what I'm saying? But you know they say practice make perfect. So I just been working, working, working. It been getting a little better and better and better. When did you first start getting arrested? When I first started getting arrested, I was getting arrested. When I was a shorty, like you know, little stuff though. You know what I'm saying? Like. Cars or uh, like little stuff, little robberies, like you know what I'm saying. But you know we were shorties though, so that really ain't. But my first time getting arrested, like for real, for real, was um. Let me see what I get locked up for. My first time ever, I think it was for for a gun. I got locked up for a pipe. About what age was it? Like how old were you? I want to say I was like 19. I I was 19 when I caught that pipe case. And was that just a reality of you coming up? Was that you, you know, having a gun on you was just kind of regular shit to you at a certain point? Yeah, for sure. You, you better. Yeah, you better. Yeah, for sure. What, what actually went down in the situation where you got caught with it? So, man, <clears throat> my cousin had called me. You feel me? He like, man, he got into some niggas or whatever out the band. So I'm like, all right. They come grab me. Long story short, we go over there. We we talk it out because it, it, it was some guys from his block. So they talk it out or whatever. But when we leave, now bro forgot to cut the, the lights on of the car. So the police pulled us over. So when they pull us over, they... So I'm telling them, like, man, take off, take off, you know? But he didn't really want to take off. But boom. So when they pull us over, they ask for license all that out the band. So they tell us, get out. So they tell us get out. I try to take off. You know what I'm saying? They grab me, slam me, all that. You know, I'm still trying to get away, but it was over with. They locked us up. They locked me up. They they looked at my address, but I, I had like a, a a weird address. So they wouldn't need my address. They so I'm, cause now now I'm waiting. Now I'm like, man, what's going on? So cause you, usually it'd be like the next day you'll go to the to, to the county jail. So now I'm waiting. They oh yeah, the officer raiding your house. I'm raiding my house for what? And yeah, damn. I, how serious is it to catch like a pipe case in uh in Chicago? Because I hear a lot of rappers from Chicago say they get caught up with a gun, but they end up like getting bonded out or something. So like you can get out. Well, it depends on what, what I mean. Then they just change the laws, but it depends on if it's your first, second, third, fourth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? First time you might get eye bond. You know what I'm saying? You might get eye bond. Second, you might get like, man, I'm like my brother. He, he his first pipe case he had a, a twenty thousand dollar bond. You know what I'm saying? But some of the guys catch a pipe case, they get an eye bond. Was it was it like just being in the jail for the first time? Was that kind of eye opening? Just seeing like a lot of these people who've been, you know, getting arrested over and over and over. Like for you as a young dude, was that kind of crazy? Yeah, yeah, that's real crazy. But while I was locked up, that's that's really who I was talking to. Like a lot of older guys, feel me? Like, and then I like to like like the um, 
like the, like the guys that like the dope fiends, like the ex dope fiends and stuff, because you know they they like sync their thing, they like they know the game, so <clears throat> I chop it up with them. They always funny anyway. I always got a lot of jokes. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> so you always like kicking with the dope fiends? Yeah, yeah for sure. Right. But okay, do you feel like you always kind of had like an old soul where like these uh the old heads on the block and shit kind of gravitated towards you like you seemed older than you really were? Yeah, I had to. I had to for sure. Even now, I'm seeing you uh in some vlogs and you're like with all the Muslims like praying and shit on the on the basketball courts and stuff and you're like the youngest guy there. Yeah, for sure. Hey Geechee calling me. Oh shit, what's going on Geechee? Anything? Yeah, pick up. But yeah, for sure though. Like where we from, you kind of got to grow up kind of fast. You feel me? We ain't really Get a chance to experience that. Well, you don't feel like you had a childhood? I actually had a decent childhood. Like, my, my mom always made sure I had everything, but we just had to grow up fat. I'm right here. I'm sorry. It's parking. I'm just straight right here. Yeah, and can we set up a second microphone, too? Just so maybe some right, of those other mom. homies could pop through and shit, too? All right. Um, okay. Yeah, you, you feel like you didn't really have a childhood, or you just feel like it was kind of tainted? I feel like it was kind of like, like forced to to go fast, you know what I'm saying? Because you can't really be like where we from. You can't really be thinking like as no kid. You know you gotta. It's like it's like you you know some what was crazy when I was locked up. I I, I started reading books, different books like mm -hmm. the Art of War and all this, and a lot of stuff we had already knew, but we knew it to like survive. You see what I'm saying? But right. it's like it's like people maybe like they learn it for fun or to go to whatever they do. But we learned a lot a lot of stuff. I'm like man, I know this already. I know this. I know this. You know what I'm saying? I hear that from a lot of people that they didn't really understand the value of, of reading books or, or trying to go out of your way to gain knowledge until they got locked up and they had way too much time to be able to put into it. That's why I feel like a lot of people convert to Islam. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, growing up, everybody Christian. Yeah, my grandma, mostly Christian. So, yeah, I go to church. But then once you get to reading, you be like, man, hold on. Like, hold on. All right. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people find themselves in, 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 in them type of... In them type of um, Predicaments. So mm -hmm. when did you originally convert to Muslim? Because I seen you outside talking to one of the guys that he was Muslim. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. I always any any Muslim I see, I always try to greet him. You know what I'm saying? I just seen he had the beard. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, you could just tell from yeah, his looks. You, yeah, yeah. Because it was it wasn't like someone that was here or with you. It was just a, a construction worker yeah, or some from shit. Other, from on the other side of the gate. Okay. Know? Yeah. So, well, I originally took my shahada when I was 12. You know, my pops said went to jail. He came home. He converted to Islam in jail. He came home. But I didn't really understand. You know, he just said, repeat that to me, you out to them. So I repeat that to him. But once I went to jail, I really started, then I, I really started, you know, reading, reading up on it. Then I took my shahada again. Like, I'm going to do it again. So I take it again. And then, you know, I just been trying to stand on it. It's kind of crazy because I interviewed uh, O Block J Hood, and I and he's all like super into Christianity, yeah. and I you know I kind of got him like answer got him to answer a question that he didn't want to answer because I was like, well, you believe that anybody who doesn't find Jesus is gonna go to hell when they die, right? I'm like, he's like, yep, and I'm like, so does that go for Lil Durk and all the O Block Muslims? He's like, like he it was like he so, didn't want to say it, but he so basically this, had to acknowledge that that is what he believes. So this the thing. So this the thing. Jesus is in Islam. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Jesus is is a prophet in Islam, though, a, a great prophet. A, a, he he. You know what I'm saying? He up there. You know what I'm saying? So you got rank. We, we believe in Jesus. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But Jesus. I mean, for him, I think you have to accept George, Jesus as, as your as Lord as and Christ. Savior. Yeah, yeah. I mean, to each his own, though. I just, I just what work for me, work for me. You know what I'm saying? Right. Did you know Oblak J Hood anywhere? Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> he's got, so do you not care for like what he's been doing on YouTube and shit? Man, I just I don't know him. I ain't got nothing bad to say about him. I just don't like the little comment he said, like he, like with about that open case with uh Melly. Mm. Like I ain't like that. I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't like that. Cause the game is kinda changing now where you have people who maybe were trying to be rappers ten years ago, or maybe they just, you know, are just regular guys from different neighborhoods, but they got a cool personality and now they're Getting famous on YouTube from just having opinions about shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some shit you gotta keep to yourself. Like, like, I right, listen. This man going to trial, right? Jury trials. Mm. So you can't. You a big platform. Ain't no telling who watching you. So he going there and say, yeah, man. Ooh, and Von said, so like, oh my god, King Von said that. King right. Von don't lie. You know what I'm saying? Who know? They he like we don't know how that'll go. So I don't think I don't think he should have said that though. The shit about Melly. Yeah, that was crazy because he actually said that about somebody else or he said that on another platform at one point that he said that Vaughn told him that Melly was guilty but that does stand out to me I was like 
obviously, if Vaughn told you that, he didn't want you to go repeating it on different yeah. platforms and shit. And just because I, he's gone, does that mean you get to tell his secrets or whatever? I would have felt better if he said it like after the case. You know what I'm saying? Like right. once he get found unguilty, because I'm hoping he get found unguilty. I'm trying to speak it into. I don't even know him, but mm. that place ain't for nobody. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully he get found unguilty, whatever. But. Yeah, you just don't speak on oh, no open cases. Right. What was the transformation like, though, while you were locked up in terms of you becoming Muslim? Like, was there, was there anything that somebody said to you in particular that convinced you? Nah, nah. So, what made me? Nah, I just. Nah, nah not really. You know, I, I, I always knew I was Muslim anyway. So, you know what I'm saying? You know, once you go to jail, you start reading a little more or whatever. So, you. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just reading a little more and I'm just, you know. And, and this there's a thing. There's a thing about Islam, right? I be feeling like everybody feel like with Muslims, you supposed to, okay, everybody know what a Muslim's supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? If you see me in a pork chop, you're going to be like, man, he's supposed to be Muslim, man. He ain't no real Muslim. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Even though it's Haram, you bogus, but Islam is just like Christianity, any other religion. Everybody got their own journey in the thing. You know what mm. I'm saying? Like, I might do some things, like, like, they, like, I might do some things, people like, man, he rapping about this, he rapping about that. Which is true, which is true. They probably ain't wrong, but at the same time, I'm 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 striving. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm striving to do better. I'm striving to, but you know, take take time. Is the pork thing ever tough? Nah, you know what? I'm I'm I really man, I really don't I really be trying not to eat beef, mm. pork, chicken. Yeah. That's gotta be tough. Yeah, so when you come out to LA, where you eat at? It's like Man, y'all been I've been cheating though, guy with y'all, man. I've been I've been eating the choice, beef right. in the yeah, I've been I've been But cheating. pork is not nah, pork ain't, never ain't happens. No pork. Right. Nah, I ain't touching no pork. Nah. Definitely. Hey, when I when I had met up with Gates, man, dude real smart. Real smart. I I is he real smart and I had learned a lot from him about eating, fasting, you know what I'm saying? Energy. I learned from that little time I was with him, I learned a lot from for sure. Yeah, how did you end up linking up with Kevin Gates? Through the Muslims. Oh, really? Through Sadiq, y'all. Wow, they got you together. Yeah. And and he's got a lot of wisdom. For sure. Yeah, he's real smart. But when you say when you say through the Muslims, like what you mean? Like y'all got like a group chat where Man, listen, the Muslims is everywhere in every in every state. Anywhere I go, I'm a holla agnum. They gonna, oh yeah, get up with that brother, get up with them, get up with them. Like we going to New York. You know what I'm saying? We're finna get up with the Muslims. Then wherever we go, we getting up with the Muslims. And then we're gonna we gonna network from now. Type of thing. But we everywhere. And and they 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 rocking. They it I seen like recently like the Muslim faith is getting stronger in Chicago. Like you in, in the world. In the world. In the United yeah, States. Yeah. For but sure. Why you think so? I really don't know. I you know, of course I wanna say, man, everybody's just seeing the light, but I really don't know. maybe, maybe it's just maybe it's just I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just seeming more more. All right, so look, I, growing up, you know, with the nine eleven stuff, you know, I said like, man, terrorists, terrorists, Muslims are terrorists. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So when my pops came home, he used to give me game like, man, the news, man, you can't always, and, you know, just trick him Yeah, you gotta you gotta do your own research and do your own. I mean, you get to looking into that stuff like Gaddafi and just looking into all that. You be like, man, hold on. Whoa, you know what I'm saying? So maybe people doing their research or homework or whatever. I don't know. Do you ever feel like getting more hardcore with your Muslim faith and like making your girl cover her face when you leave the crib and shit, or is that out? No. Nah, so basically, so basically, um, I'm not really forcing no type of. Um, I'm not really forcing my my religion on them. If they want to do it, then cool. If not, then. So even your girl, you're not worried about her spiritual. Journey? Nah, nah, I ain't go. Nah, if she if 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 she want to convert, then yeah, I'm gonna stand behind it. But if she don't, then I, you know, I blew on her a few times, but she like, she ain't she ain't really feeling it right now. What do you mean blew on her? Like like I hollered at her, like I I talked to her about it. Okay. You feel me? But she really wasn't feeling it. Right Interesting, because I feel like a Christian, like Christian men and women, it's always like that. Like they always kind of need the same faith to exist yeah, together. It, it it'd be nice, but nah, because you know everybody still, even if you Christian or even if you Muslim, you still. Like, you know, we still young, so we still striving to do better. You know, everybody ain't heavy, heavy, like, how they supposed to be on, on their religion. But, right, yeah. definitely. Um, okay, so wh so when you when you actually got locked up, though, because it, it's kind of confusing. Like, you beat a couple of murders, but then you actually ended up getting locked up for, like, nine, ten years off a of robbery, right? Yeah, yeah. So what was that like? Like, because when, when you beat those murders, did you think that you were in the clear or you knew you still were going to have to Once face trial? I beat trial? the murders, I wasn't tripping. I, I wasn't tripping. Well, all right, so look, I had one murder. Okay, so look, I was locked up for the robbery. 
Oh, already before the murder. Right. Okay. They they locked me up for the robbery. But I had already had the investigate investigative alerts for the murders. Now when they locked me up for the robbery. Now while I'm locked up for the robbery, now they come put a murder on me. And then uh, you know, usually they elect on a serious case, so boom, they elect on the murder. So I beat that murder. I go to try to beat that murder. Now they they elect uh, now wait. I demand speedy trial on the murder. Boom. Now they come put another murder on me. Before I could beat, they put another murder on me. So now, so now, um, so now I beat that murder. So now the states got, they they got the luxury to pick which cases. I'm fighting two cases. They could pitch, pick which, what case they want to trial first. So they elect on a robbery, mm. which is kind of weird. Like, it's a murder. Why you don't do the murder first? Because it's weak. You know what I'm saying? So they elect on the, on the robbery. So I cop out to that. So I can hurry up and get that out the way because I don't want to. You know, stalled three, four, five, six years on a robbery. So I, I, you know what I'm saying? What what they talking about, man? They talking about this, man. Go on, cop out, get it out the way. You know what I'm saying? They, they, few people saying you did. I, they, ain't, they ain't had no on me on a robbery. They ain't had no, they said I robbed somebody, took their car, they ain't had nothing. They just had the two people they said I robbed pointing me out saying that I did it. Mm-hmm. That's all they had. I guess that's enough. Took a victory. So I just copped out 20, 20 at 50 on that. That was 10 years. I had, I had a few years in already. I'm, I actually got out early. Cause uh, I suppose to just be getting out like yesterday. <laughs> I suppose to get out like yesterday. Really? Yeah, but with good time, I got my GED in jail and all. But how that. long have you actually been out right now? I got out what March 18th of last year. So six months or something, eight months. Yeah, yeah, that's like a, that's like a year, a year and some change. But it's August right now, so it's August, September, October. So. Everybody, it's not March yet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like it's, it's like a year and some change. Oh, like okay, so year. more than all right. Yeah, yeah I got you. March of last year. Yeah, March of last year. So how long did you actually do in jail, like, consecutively? Did eight, eight years and nine months on, on that case. Then I had some attempts before that. I had two attempts I beat. I had did 18 months on that. I had two attempts. I beat them in 20, in 20, I got locked up in 2011. I beat them in 2012. Then I got locked up in 2013. And then I did eight years and nine months. And so... You know, while you're locked up, like there's basically like two different ways that could go for people who are locked up is that some people get more into their street mentality, their violent mentality, and then some people are locked up and they're just like, I don't want to fucking live this life anymore. I don't want to be behind bars. Where would you say you were at and did it kind of change as time went by? So, yeah, for sure. When I first got in, I ain't gonna lie, when I first got in, even in jail, I kind of was like chilling for the most part, you feel me? I was... Like, on the phone all day. I just be on the phone. You know, I get into a few fights. Mostly over the phone. I ain't even get into that many fights over, like, no street stuff. He be, like, over the phone or something. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But um, I feel like in the beginning of my bid, yeah, I probably was still a little wild. Then once it, once I got toward the end, I started working out. You know what I'm saying? Start eating. Because I ain't, I ain't eat meat for, like, a year. A year before I came on. A year and some change. Because you went in and you were, like, Super young when you when yeah. you first started that bid, and it's like you're becoming a man as time yeah, goes by sure. in there. Yeah, Just, be, you yeah. felt yourself growing up a lot. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Then I started seeing young guys coming in like 16, 17, well, 17, 18. I'd be like, man, that's crazy. And they wild like I was. So I'm like, man, that's crazy. You know, I try to holler at them, give them some little game. Like, but you know, they ain't trying to hit nothing. Though. They trying to hit, they on what they on. Mm-hmm. But I still try to blow on them. Like, man, you got to chill, man. Get some money, man. Why the man you want to be in? Because look. I beat those, I beat those murders, you know what I'm saying? And that's a blessing. But it's guys that didn't. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I see I'd be talking to them guys like, man, they be like, man, that's crazy, man. I ain't do it or what I do or whatever. I'd be like, man, that's crazy. But I, you know, it's like you stuck. Like you stuck in us. So now it's like And I feel like that age of dudes when they're like sixteen to eighteen is like when you're really at your wildest. And even by like twenty one, a lot of guys have really kind of calmed down yeah. a significant amount because sixteen to eighteen is like when you're fully going through puberty and shit. Yeah. And even by twenty one, it's like you 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 have a lot more life experience and a lot of people have kind of changed their ways by that point, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, kinda like twenty one, twenty one, kinda. Kinda, man. It's like it's it's kinda like rough. Like, I so, like, where we from, like, it's like you kind of forced to be a certain way. You know what I'm saying? You can't, like, they don't they don't see, oh, yeah, this this, this Islamic tape. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Or they don't see that. I see, oh, boy, catch you. Yeah, it's that. So, right. you know, it's, it's, it got to be the same way. Yeah, 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 all right. That's what, it, that's what it is then. But that's why you just, I, I, that's why I stay out the way, man. I just be chilling, man. I'm out the way. Right. Definitely. So, okay, while you're locked up, though, you did the GED thing, and, like, were, were you... Man, I did I did GED. I, I did some little cosmetology. 
I did a. So what, I, what's I, cosmetology? I so for, from so this one jail I was in, man, they they taught you a lot. One one jail I was in, they taught you how to cut hair. They taught you how to do like waxes. They taught you how to uh, braid hair. They told you how to like cut women's hair, like all type of stuff. They facials, mm-hmm. pedicures, medicures. Uh, Pedicure, pedi, medi, whatever. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Pedicures like, and manicures. Yeah, yeah manicures, yeah, yeah. y'all. But they teaching y'all this in the jail? They taught you that in the jail, y'all. Yeah, for sure. It, it, it's a few people. It's a few people that I know, like a guy named Wolf. He, I was locked up with him, man. He went home. I think he might got his own barbershop now off that. He oh, was in yeah, cosmetology. Yeah. It's a lot of them, though. It ain't just him. So a question I got. So when you first went to jail, where was the music scene at in Chicago? Like, any songs was hot? So I know you probably just went to jail while it was cracking. You're like, damn, the music going crazy. Or like, where was the music st- scene at at the time? Well, I I know I know for a fact when I first got locked up, Sosa was going crazy. I think he had just dropped that his like what what what, what like I think that I'm Kobe. I've been balling. Oh, All right, so he got the I'm, album. I think out. finally rich. Finally, finally rich the album. album, yeah, which yeah. was like his one major label studio album, which yeah. is like all the shit he puts out now is like much more experimental. It's like the real him, but that was like his one project that sounded like it was supposed to be hit records, right? Yeah, for sure. All oh, interscope. That was going crazy, mm-hmm. y'all. Fifty and Wiz Khalifa on the remix and shit. Yeah. So how was that for you being in jail? You got relationships with these guys, and you seeing what's going on. Well, it make you I, eager man, to get out, or yeah, you wasn't. For even... sure. I didn't even like listening to music no more in jail, cause you know when you listen to music, you be like, oh man, it gets you anxious, and so I'm just like, man, I stop, I stop, I stop watching TV. I was just working out on the phone and just chilling, chilling with the dope fiends. <laughs> <laughs> but so were you like fully tapped into everything that was going on in the streets during that time period? Yeah. Because obviously there's people with iPhones and shit, but it's kind of up to you, like how closely you want to be paying attention, right? Yeah, you know, I stay in tune with everything because I'm, I'm on the phone all day. So it been times I'm on the phone. They, oh, man, hold on. Such a just got shot. Oh, man, he, he died. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. So I was on the phone all day. So I really was in tune with everything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So when you say the phone, you mean like the jail phone? Yeah, you the mean jail a cell phone? phone. Okay. Not, not jail phone. I ain't had no cell phone. I wanted one though. Is it just yeah. it's too hard to get it or what? I mean Or it's risky. The jails I was in, you can get one, but the jails I was in, like a lot of people be scared to mess with the inmates though, cause they be telling, like, they you they'll give you a phone, they get caught with it, they'll tell. So they don't want to lose their job. You know what I'm saying? Of course, they be want to make a little extra extra couple dollars. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, give me five uh, uh, five hundred to Five thousand for for a cell phone, yeah. Right. But they don't want to lose their job and their career and their family, medical and dental and so. But when you're doing the the cosmetology shit and everything, are you really thinking that you're going to be able to get out and be a barber or have a normal job, or, or are you still thinking that you're going to be in the streets, or or were you even thinking about being a rapper by that point? Me, so I knew I wasn't cutting no hair, none of that. I really was doing that really for the good time. But when I'm in the house, you know, I'm, it, it, it's good to know certain stuff. You know what I'm saying? It was good to know certain stuff, man. So I started saying that though, like, man, you know what? I'm gonna start rapping, man. I'm gonna start rapping. You know, everybody laughing, like, man, you playing. I'm like, I'm for real. Then I, I came. I really wasn't even doing it when I first came home. I was just, you know, talking. Then I really started taking it serious. So you That's weren't really I'm thinking about rapping like that while you were locked up? That that was more when you came home? No, I think I, I think I was thinking about it more while I was locked up than when I came home. I'm like, man. Then, you know, stuff just started happening. I'm like, man, I, I should drop. And I just started dropping. Then I just, you know, I'm, now I'm taking the seeds. I'm dropping back to back. Right. Because people always compare you to Vaughn and say that, like, you know, you, they sort of see the similarities in you guys' personalities or your background. Man, you want to know what's crazy? They said that when I first met him, we was on, so we was on, uh, in Division Six on the school wing. The deck had went up or whatever. No, no, the deck didn't even go up. Something happened. They moved me. They just moved me to the next deck, and then Vaughn came. Then they was like, man, it's this, this dude on, on the next deck that, that remind me of you. So I'm like, yeah, I'm old. Hey, man, his name Vaughn. He from the O. So I'm like, yeah. So now I see him. I'm like, I don't really I don't really see it, but I'm like, all right, cool. Now I get to rotate with him. I'm like, yeah, I like this little dude. Mm-hmm. So we get to chopping it up, and then we got locked. We just locked. So you and Vaughn relationship came from being inside jail? Yeah, that's where I met him at. But yeah. some of the guys knew him already, like from my area. But you know, Vaughn was a little younger than me. So some of the guys like around his age, they 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 knew who Vaughn was for sure. All right. So you was cool with people from O Block, but just like you and Vaughn probably just wasn't in tune. Back then, back then we won. When I when I met Vaughn, we didn't I didn't really know nobody. Me personally, I ain't know nobody from the O at that time. That was that was like that was like let me see, that was like probably like twenty ten or something. No. No, that was twenty eleven. That was twenty eleven or something. Twenty ten, twenty eleven. 
But his reputation was crazy at that time as well. He was grown, for sure. He was grown. Right. So in terms of, like, well, break it down for me, because they said when I was reading about your history and stuff that Welsh World contains GDs and BDs. Yeah, y'all. So, man, we got a mixture. Like, we got a mixture in our hood. You feel me? We got all type of stuff. BD, GD, uh, foe. I don't know. We got all type of stuff. We don't really care about that, to be honest with you. So you ain't gonna never just see us like, oh yeah, we super GDK. You know what I'm saying? Now you you might see us drop. Now little bro, them they like most of them all BDs. Most most of all like Buki the G and all of them they mostly all BDs. But um, yeah, I don't know. Like the guys like my age, it's all a mix. Like we don't really care about that. We all 40th, 43rd, so I see Welsh world. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's not a big deal when we see Tay Savage on FaceTime or on Instagram Live with King Yella and J Main and all these dudes. Like it sometimes seems like, oh shit, Tay Savage is like more willing to have conversations with people that he maybe isn't supposed to be cool with than a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, technically we probably ain't supposed to be cool with them at, for sure though. You know what I'm saying? You know, just mob ties. You know what I'm saying? Like, all right, we mess with Bronum and Bronum don't like them. So that could rub a few guys the wrong way. You know what I'm saying? But I think for the most part, people know what I'm on. You know, they they see like, oh yeah, okay, I see what Tay on, man. Tay, cause man, at the end of the day, bro, like everybody done lost people. Mm. Everybody done lost people. Everybody done like, come on, man. It's like, I mean, I get it. It is what it is. But at the same time, I'm like, all right, let, let's try to do something different for the rat. You got you got places like Atlanta. I even think Detroit. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got a lot of different places that's coming together and and, and, and pushing each other. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, ain't, I ain't just saying you got to overcome together and kumbaya and nothing like that. But I'm saying if we could, all right, look, bro, this is what we on. Like, 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 okay, let's just say I holler like the younger guys in my area. Like, man, look, this is what we on, bro. We going to try to push the music. We going to just chill. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? Then somebody else doing that and somebody else doing that next, you know, the rate, the murder rate probably going down or whatever else that's going on probably going down. You know what I'm saying? Right. But there's like two different sides to Tay Savage though, because sometimes I'll be listening to your music and then the interviews back to back, and the interviews a lot of times you seem super peaceful and ready to just not be involved with any bullshit or whatever, and then a lot of times in the music it's like, no, I will lay your ass down. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just, it's just, it's just entertainment, man. It's just entertainment. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's, that's like, that's like, that's like, um, rock and roll. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I just listen to what's that? Like, it's like that. That party did the flow. I just like that. I just like that though. I ain't gonna lie to you, but I, they probably ain't killing nobody. They just talk about bodies in the flow. I don't know. Right. It's just entertainment. You feel me? But for the most part, that's that's what I'm on. That's what I'm on. I'm pushing Islam and and trying to stop, slow down the violence and 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 and, and bring money to the city. Bring money to us. That's what I'm on. Yeah, because I mean that. Like we heard that with uh, Twenty One Savage, where he's put out tweets basically saying we need to stop the violence and people need to stop killing each other, et cetera. And then people will be like, well, what about all these lyrics that you have about sliding on people and killing your ops, yada, yada. And I'm sure that 21 Savage's opinion on it is basically like when I, like, but he can't really say this as a rapper, but his opinion is basically like I rap and I say the craziest shit, but that's not really how I live my life. And that's not how I advise you to live your life. Right. Yeah. People got to understand, man. A lot of stuff. Okay. You got guys that talk about sliding and ain't never slid. Mm. They rappers ain't never did nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I feel like, I feel like you gotta, you gotta understand this entertainment and this real life. You know what I'm saying? You can't, I don't give a fuck what, what nobody's saying. Oh yeah, we're gonna jump off the mountain today and we're gonna kill each other. No, what the fuck? <laughs> it might sound good on a beat. Mm. Well, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. But don't go do that dumb ass shit. Just listen to this music. You know what I'm saying? Now, I understand music is a big influence on people, but But do you have to like force your 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 brain into that position or like into thinking about shit that you haven't thought about in a long time sometimes when you're going nah, in mean, the booth? I mean, you know, you like what you like. It's it's just like it's just like it's just like if you like if you like western western mov- movies, you know what I'm saying? You it's gonna automatically because that's that's what you like. And no matter I don't I don't care what's how far away you, it, it's just that's what you went to. Like that's what you attracted to. So it's it's easy to talk about because it's, it's it's stuff that we don't we don't live. So that's why it'd be so easy for people to relate because this stuff we all like. Oh man, man and then the police came. Oh, I tried to take my switch off. And, you know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? You be like, oh damn, I remember that. You, you might like the song just off that because you could relate. So right. A time that that happened. Well, funny you mentioned that though, like with the switches. I feel like that's gotta be something that stood out to you a lot when you got out of doing that long bid. Was like, damn, like 
this is one part of the streets that's changed a lot as people got way more advanced guns and shit, right? Yeah, man, they got some, they yeah, they got some stuff. Mm. Military style stuff. How they getting it, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But yeah, they got some stuff. And especially if you are like risking getting a ten year sentence just for this little ass piece of metal that you put on your gun. I mean, that's a pretty wild but it, it make a big difference from boom 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 to brrr. Right. It make a big difference. So you don't want three people brrring at you and you boom boom boom, you want to brr back. <laughs> Geechee, they got switches out here. They got them everywhere. I, I never hear people talk about it in LA that much, but maybe they're just a little bit more low key about it. Yeah, them in Iraq, they man, it's, it's like, required. Oh, you got you ain't got no switch on that. Oh, man, I don't want it. Really? <laughs> yeah, they, they crazy. They crazy, but yeah, that's that's that, that's what we trying to that's what we trying to man trying to stop slow yeah, down. Trying right? to slow down. So what at least. You, so of course it's obvious though, but like with switches, it make it it make it easier for people to kill. So it's like a it make it easier, but you you probably kill the wrong person because 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 you, if if you shooting if you shooting a, a gun that's fully automatic, it, like it's damn near impossible unless you really know what you're doing to aim it. You really just waving it, just like you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Then you got three, four of them going off at one time. So yeah, yeah. switch is dangerous. They real dangerous. We ain't have all that back then, right? Definitely. So, okay, you get out and you're like, like, what is life even like when you first get out and like, like those first couple weeks? It's before you start recording music or whatever. Are you yeah. just staying in the house and just trying to get your mind right, or are you out chilling. partying and shit? No, I was really chilling, man. I had started working a little job and everything. I was doing construction. I was chilling. You know, I was doing a little family thing. Then I'm like, man, I gotta like, I'm, t I gotta own something. Like, I can't be just going. Uh, construction, nice. If you're doing it, I salute you. But I'm like, man, I gotta own something. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta. I need more money. I, it's like the type, the type of person I am. I be wanting like, if, 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 if my grandma needs some, my auntie needs some. I be like, oh, yeah, don't worry, but I got you out the bam. Construction, you can't. Yeah, you might can, but while I was at starting, I couldn't do that. So I'm like, man, I need, I, it, you know, I just want more. I mean, you can make good money doing construction, but you're gonna be have to work your ass off. 50, oh, 60 hours a week, show. right? You working for sure. And you don't work, they talking about you like, yeah, he's lazy. So I'm like, yeah, this ain't for me. I'm out of here. Mm, definitely. Did you feel like you're, like everybody was talking about you when you first got out or did that not really like kick in as much until you started doing the music and shit? Um, yeah, I, was, I, I mean, I, I wasn't buzzing like now, but you know, from where we at, I heard you like, oh yeah, tell y'all, tell y'all, tell y'all. You feel me? But you know, everybody's trying to see what I'm on. Like, what are you, what are you finna do? What was you and Reese's relationship before you got locked up? Like, was he someone you were super close yeah, with I before? Be with I used to be with him every day before I got locked up. Yeah, man, Reese's always been tight. Right. And you guys have done a bunch of music, like, in the past couple of months. Like, yeah. is, is that, like, do you, like, what's the mentality with that? Like, you're, you're kind of getting him to come out of his shell and record more or do more feel, videos than he's done recently? I feel like, I feel like with that, we, we kind of, like, building off each other. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, man, come on, man. Turn them up, man. Come on, man. And he, like, turning me up. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like we kind of, like, sharpening each other with that. Mm. Reese got mad at me and Jay Main for having a conversation about him on Reese, here. Reese a bug. That's one thing. He going to tell you how he feel. Reese a bug. But do you think, like, is is that out of line? Is it inappropriate? Because I, I don't even remember exactly the details, but it was something about me and Jay Main having the conversation about whether he actually shit himself or not. And I was taking the side that he didn't, sh that, that I am at least open to the idea that he didn't because he said he had a design on his underwear or maybe it was some dirt on the ground or something. I don't know. Obviously, he got in, involved in a bad situation there. But then he had a tweet where he was like seeming pretty upset about me and Jay Main even having that conversation. And I'm not really like worried about myself, but like it did make me feel like, oh fuck, like he's he's gonna get mad as fuck at Jay Main about a conversation he had on here. Maybe we should be a little bit more thoughtful about that. Yeah. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like you definitely gotta be like mindful of like the type of stuff people saying on here, man. Cause like you have somebody come on here and then say some some crazy out their mouth, like just trying to just trying to really chase a moment and then they get fucked up then it's like oh damn what happened you know mm. so i don't know man you just got to you, you definitely got to be careful on, on like what you what you cuz you can't just be cuz cuz listen the Chirac grim reaper you don't want to be talking about him crazy right i mean i don't know i ain't i don't know i don't know but not even just him not even just him you feel me it's like i get it i, I get it i get all this you feel me but you got to remember like a lot of these people they going back they going back to them trenches. You feel mm. me? They, oh, you want to? Oh, you want to play? Okay. And they people getting fucked. Like people get fucked up. Like 
for sure. So you just got to kind of be mindful of that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe just more the music or something. Or something. <laughs> Yeah. You be having people on here that I've been seeing. You've been just real busy, man. You 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 just who we had on there. I, I mean, I don't know. You had a lot of people, but you just been fighting anybody now. I, at first, <laughs> at first, I'm like, at first, I'm like, oh man, I'm I'm excited. Then I'm like, what the fuck is what? going who, who, on? Who who yeah, yeah, same week yo, to you? Yo yo, yo yo property value going down, man. Down? Just, yeah. No, we just got taste but, average. We're going up. I mean, see, I'm, I'm okay. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm but I'm saying, man, you can't just like. I'm trying oh, to think. Come of who, on, okay, man. we had King Yella. Certified. He's a, he's a real dude from where he's from. You don't got to say it. We had Jay Main. We had Blazing Doll. I know you're a big fan of her. Um, We had Famous Richard the other day on King David. You know, he really doing his BD thing. Yeah, he funny. See, I like him. He oh, you like him? Too. Okay. So I'm trying to think of who's, who's, who's weak. That's, that's what I was trying to think. Bro, you just be, you starting to invite anybody, bro. Anybody. <laughs> now, I ain't saying I'm the best, but I'm, I'm, I'm doing my thing. You feel me? But, man, come on. Then, okay, I'll yeah. comb through the archives. Yeah, man. Like, yeah, man. Yeah, no, I feel you. We have too many ops on, then you're not gonna be able to get the other side, right? Yeah, I mean, I ain't really tripping on the ops. I ain't really tripping on the ops. It's just like, I, I, man, let's just make it make sense, though. You know, it's like, what the fuck is they doing? Like, what the fuck? Who like, are we talking about? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Who. I, I ain't really trying to, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't really trying to, I ain't really trying to, I ain't really trying to Do they to do shop. music, though? Yeah, they do music, but they're like... But yeah. I feel like everybody we had on here of recently is somebody that, you know what I'm saying, they got some music out. We ain't just got anybody just on Ruga? So, if so, you're talking shit about Ruga, then I can get behind that. Nah, Ruga talented, for sure. Oh, yeah, Ruga right. talented. All right, sure. But... I don't know, man. It might be, I don't know. Y'all might have them, finna have them. I don't know, man. What's going on? But I'm just saying, though, man. It's just a lot of little shit, man. <laughs> y'all, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> y'all got them, Y'all leave a comment. Let us know who y'all think you're talking about. I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, send us <laughs> some recruits. No, but, but about the interview thing. So you get out. Were you thinking, like, that you were going to end up doing interviews? And what was your first interview? And was that a big decision? Um, I'm trying to see if I ever... I, me personally, I don't think I really was ever against interviews. Now, I did have to like catch up to like, hey man, you gotta kinda be careful in these interviews, cause you know, mm -hmm. be careful what you say. But I don't think I really was ever against them. Like I, I like I, I be hearing a lot of people that be against interview, like, man, I ain't doing no interview by the band, but now I see everybody doing interviews. And then you like one person said like like you would say like, Oh yeah, I ain't talking about no interviews, but then you would talk about a real case and your rap. Like, mm. so I don't know though. I don't know. I me personally, I ain't never been I ain't never been like against interviews. I just, you just gotta, you know. That was always my thing is that people will get on me about interviewing somebody and asking them about their enemies or asking them about a beef that they got. And it's like, well, they talk about it in their fucking music so much that it seems kind of crazy to me to not be able to ask the rapper about that when they put it out there in their, their songs that I listen to 10, 20 times. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. But I've never been against interviews. I feel like, I feel like, what the, they say, your, your, your net worth is your network. So you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's you, you, you an artist. You pushing. It's what you trying to do. Of course, you got to talk about that. It's what you say out your mouth. Mm. Like, cause you act. That don't mean you got to say, "Oh yeah, fuck them." And yeah, yeah, we smoking them. And you got to say that. Right. Because you're a master of getting interviewed. They ask you about people that you clearly have some kind of history with. Let's not even say that you got actual beef with them, but you maybe aren't the biggest fan of them. But then you know how to answer the question in a way that isn't going to necessarily like give them. The clout that would be associated with Tay Savage saying, "Nah, fuck them." Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I ain't doing none of that. But would you rather get interviewed by somebody like Sixteen Shot Him or DJ U, who maybe is like closer to the Chicago streets and they're gonna know all the 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 mixy ass shit to ask, or would you rather do a more mainstream interview? I say, I say both. I say both. I, you you got to do both. You know what I'm saying? You got to do Sixteen them for sure. And you gotta do the mainstream too. You know what I'm saying? It, it's all networking. You gotta do it all. It's just what you say out your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't gotta come on here, yeah. Cause a lot of people just be chasing it. Mm. I don't get it. Like everybody know what's going on for sure. Right. Like, you know, like you know what's going on. So one of the first times I did see you, I seen you on the DJU interview, and then uh, I think you went to 16 after, right? Or which one? Yeah, was Yeah, I did DJU to... first, then 16. Yeah. And then the 16 interview ended up blowing up. 
know? a little bigger. So that's. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I kind of got them in two or two, right? I'm like, all right, they be, they be, they be trolling us. I'm finna troll them. <laughs> it's so a I, loss, but they. I, I, which one? Which one did better? They get to the argue. Oh yeah, you bitch. You <laughs> did ask that, right? Yeah, yeah, you did ask that. I fuck with them both, though. I fuck with them both. I think the I rivalry do. is probably a good thing. Yeah, they yeah, both want to step it up. I right? mean, yeah, ain't no wrong with that. They ain't shooting at each other. None. They just, you know what I'm saying? Definitely shout out to both of them, though. Definitely. Was there anything that they that you got asked in interviews that you were surprised by? Like you thought that certain things would be off limits, so that people wouldn't want to necessarily ask about certain shit because it's too grimy. Um, I can't think of none off top. I mean, for the most part, I I, I kind of be knowing, you know, like how they, how they gonna try to come. But I ain't really heard that. I don't, I can't think of nobody just saying that. Like, bro, did you did you man? Yeah, man. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a few people that did, did that. Yeah, that just, I'm like, what the fuck. But, but they just assume that you're going to be able to dance around the question so they don't feel too scared about asking you certain shit, I think. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Like, I ain't going to, yeah, I get it. I ain't going to try to choke them because they, you know, it's just like, oh, come on, bro. It's interesting, though, because I've seen, like, a British girl who uh, went to your your hood and was hanging out and, like, interviewing you and stuff. And she yeah. she was, like, so impressed of, like, man, Tay Savage is such a nice so listen, guy, such so a listen. sweetheart. <laughs> Khadija, she's from the UK, Khadija, right? Khadija, there you go, yeah. yeah. She's from the UK, so this is how I meet her. She pull up on Lemron. We on Lemron chilling. The guy's normal day. <laughs> so she pull up. So she coming to see Reese. Mm -hmm. So Reese, like, um, I'm hollering at somebody. Why the band go holler at him? He a rapper. So she like, ooh, she come up. She, I'll take savage. Why the band? So we get, I, I get the rotation. So I'm like, man, who you here with? So I'm, you know, I'm looking for a camera crew. She like, no, I'm by myself. I'm like, by yourself? I'm like, what you doing? <laughs> she, so we get to talking. She like, yeah, I'm, I'm from Wada. I hear her accent. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, all right. So I'm like, man, you crazy. So you going from people with different hoods. I'm like, don't you know, like, somebody come over here right now and shoot? Like, what you think? You, what you think? She's like, yeah, I know. I, I, I've been to Afghanistan and I've been to Wata Bam. So, I, so off that, I kind of like, I kind of like, I kind of like, I kind of like. You had respect for her. Yeah, I respect it. And I kind of gravitated to her. So I'm like, man, listen, who you supposed to be doing? You supposed to be doing somebody else? She tell me a few names. I'm like, man, forget that. You just going to stay with us for the rest. I got a few things I'm doing. We we um, we going to make a lot. I, I'm, I'm, I um I got a um a video shoot. No, I had um some some studio time. I'm like, man, just stay with us, cause at least I know like, man, guys in, in Chicago, man, they, they robbed a the girl, took a car, mm. took a phone. So I'm like, man, just stay with us. You know what I'm saying? But people was calling her like, man, you would taste savage, man. Get the fuck away from them, man. Walk the bam, they crazy. But really, we making sure she's straight for sure. She was straight. We ain't tried. We ain't tried. Nobody tried nothing with her. We ain't try to. That's nothing. what the comments is. They were saying yeah, somebody they, hit. They gonna do that, but we didn't. Nobody, yeah, 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 yeah. Ain't nobody, we ain't do nothing. You know, a few people was, because she, she pretty, yeah, yeah, so a facts. few people was like, hey, but nah, we ain't, we want on none of that, no no over thirsty, none of that. You, was I, I was thinking while I was watching, I'm like, this would be a pretty crazy story if her and Tay Savage fell in love throughout the course of making this video. Yeah, nah, nah, she was chilling. <laughs> we, we weren't even on, on that time at all. She'll call me in the morning, hey, I'm up, I'm gonna, all right, come on, pull up. She'll, sometimes she'll, yeah, I'm over here, I'm on Lemron. I'm like, you over <laughs> there already? She, yeah, I'm all right, may I come? Wow. But yeah, she, I salute her for sure. Right, because I'm thinking in my head, I'm like, Tay Savage is probably mostly just used to dealing with chicks from his area or whatever, or like, have you actually managed to like spend time around girls that are like more from a totally different walk of life like her? Yeah, yeah I got some, I had some classy females too, too. <laughs> I had some classy females, but it's just, bro, I'm, I'm at the end of the day, like if you know me, you'll know me. If, if, if I like you, I'm going to go to the end for you, if, you know what I'm saying? But if I don't, I ain't you just, I mean, you ain't going to like me, period. That's just how I am. If, if we cool, we cool. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna try to steal from you. I ain't gonna try to backdoor. I don't do none of that. That ain't cool. I don't like it. Mm. I don't even like them around me. Like the little guys, like booking them. They don't. That's how. I'm, that's how. And stuff. Like, bro, we don't do none of that. We don't, all that backdoor. I can't come at your mama crib. Eat, eat with a call of auntie. Then kill you three days later. What the? No, nah, that ain't cool. That ain't right. Right. You know what I'm saying? If if if, if we that close, I'm gonna let you know, like, bro, you bogus. Mm. Why the bam? Let's fight or whatever. Or you know what I'm saying? But as far as I ain't with that. Right. Um. So there's another rapper from Chicago, 051 Kiddo, who you guys both did long ass bids, and now you're out, and now you're beefing with each other. Was there a precedent for this, or is this just like a brand Ooh. new thing that beefing came up? I, I ain't beefing with nobody. Okay. Well, you've had some some. I ain't Some Instagram nothing. stories I ain't about nothing. each other, I ain't right? Said I ain't no, you said this girl looked like a linebacker. Man, well, listen, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about no. I don't even know who that is. To be honest with you. Really? For sure. Don't know. Okay, so we're just you're just 
trying to ignore him, try to act like it don't exist. Man, I don't know, him, man. I don't. You want me to know? If you want me to know him, I go look him up. I do my research in my Reese voice. All right, but I do my research. All right, so uh, you know, you know, you might not know Kiddo, but there's a viral video. I think it was like you crumping over five one Melly in the car. How you know Melly anyway? How I know Melly. Well, I, I met Melly like on some. We actually bumped heads type of thing. Then our, our uncles, real close friends, and. So we got the rotating, just off, off keeping it cordial type of thing. But yeah, that's about it though. Yeah, Melly, Melly, Melly was cool. I can't, I can't really tell. You, I don't know nothing really bad about Melly. Melly, I can't say nothing bad about Melly. That was the third comparison. So a lot of people say they compare you to King Von and Off I Want Melly. I know you've been seeing those comments and stuff. Yeah. How you feel about those comparisons? <clears throat> I feel like, man, I don't know. I, I feel like me personally, I'm just, I'm, I'm like, Melly, like, I don't know. Melly ain't really rap. Melly, Melly was doing this. Like, I don't know, man. Based what I'm doing, I'm, I'm, I'm putting my own footsteps in this thing on my own thing. You know what I'm saying? It's cool to be with, with them. You know, like, like I say, liberal. And they, like, they was kind of like after me though. You know what I'm saying? Not like on, but they was kind of after me. They, they, they weren't really like the same time type of thing. I was like out here before them. But that video you're talking about with Crump, they they don't show Tate's face, right? It's like cut off, like right here. No, I showed my face. Show oh, okay. I was I only saw a part of it. Probably another. Yeah, I showed my face and them though. What What was your relationship with him? Crump was cool. Like I said, all of us was cool before. Mubu, OTF. You know what I'm saying? Four six. Everybody, everybody was cool before. Mm -hmm. Once upon a time, then I don't know. It just got the. I think I got locked up and everything just started getting weird and I don't know. But Crump used to be around. But was that a weird feeling being locked up and like you've got people that you're cool with, and all of a sudden you find out that all your boys aren't cool with them anymore? Yeah, that's yeah, that is crazy. Cause we used to be with Crump every day, like you know what I'm saying. We used to be with like every day. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it is weird. But you know, I got my guys. You know what I'm saying? These my guys. So they like man. Yeah, I'll be like man. Tell dude, cause Crump be like man. Yeah, Tay. Like you know what I'm saying? Like saying like yeah, Tay, Tay. Woo, woo. So they like man, tell dude keep 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 your name out of his mouth, man. We ain't rocking with him. We out the bam because now he it's like it's like he shouting me out, but disrespecting the guys at the same time. So that's what kind of like made me start falling back from like, and it's crazy kind of like you know letting these steal my guys. You feel me? Now your guys looking at you like what's up with this? Like, you yeah, know what I'm yeah. They basically like man, tell dude stop saying your name, and then you know this is broken. Like they they help him with the lawyers, and they you know what I'm saying. Not saying Crump probably wouldn't. <gasps> If he has some Brady, I don't know. I don't know what, it, but I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? These are my guys from my hood. These are the guys. So it's like that was that was weird because we always literally used to be together. Like it's probably pictures of uh, us at shows together and everything. You feel me? So how far is Welch World from Lamron? Because like you hang out with a lot of guys from Lamron. Yeah. Like how did that bridge? Man, Lamron all the way on Inglewood, Inglewood somewhere. You know what I'm saying? That's all the way on the other side of the expressway. But it's just it's just that network. I right, so. Kind of, kind of how it's going. Like, like, I right, we always had a little relationship, like, like um, with Reese and them and all that. You know what I'm saying? So, Chub them. So it's like, I don't know. We just really kept it going. We just really kept like being smooth type of thing. We ain't never did no sneaky back door steal none of that. So we just always been cool. When I came home, I just really started rotating with them heavy, heavy. But yeah, I'm definitely guys though. Right, definitely. So, like, we we kind of already gotten the idea that Tay Savage is somebody who's maybe not as interested in being told who he's allowed to fuck with or who he's allowed to work with. Would you say that that's accurate? For sure. I got, who gonna tell me something? Right. Who gonna tell me something? But I do got respect for the guys, though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Somebody told me, like, nah, bro, like, nah, that ain't nah, bro. Like, then I'd be like, yeah, okay, I, I can see that. You feel me? But I'm not, I ain't, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do what I wanna do. I'm gonna move how I wanna move. I'm that, that, That's just me. And I'm gonna call, call you. I'm like, I ain't finna. That's the problem. I feel like everybody trying to be one person. Mm -hmm. Everybody trying to, or, or everybody's scared to do something like I, even like with me and J-Man. Now, I, I, ho I hollered at a few guys from Old Block, dude, and I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know that y'all op. He not really our op, but you know what I'm saying? Like, we kind of like inherit all this through y'all or whatever, but I'm like, you know what I'm saying? How, how y'all feel about that? Hey, man, especially Duke, you know what I'm saying? Duke DQ, they like, man, bro, nah, you know what I'm saying? We, we, we with it, bro. We, we want peace too. Mm. We with that. If, 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 if but you know, certain they 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 saying J Main because you know J Main like level here. You know what I'm saying? But like it's it's other ones. They like nah, bro. We ain't really because they not they not they not they probably not genuine. Where they not? But they with it though. They like yeah. We 
it is okay with J Man. Like right now, if you look at his content and stuff, he is kind of keeping it pretty cool and like just being funny and just doing his comedy type thing and having good conversations on camera. But if you rewind the clock like six months, you got him doing say cheese interviews with a fake OTF tattoo on his head and shit, and that was stuff that really probably could have got him in some serious trouble. No, I, I I think they I think they they looked at that. Me personally, I would look at it like, man, this dude, what this dude's a good. You know what I'm saying? They, that's why they looking at it. But shout out to J Main too, man. I ain't gonna lie, J Main, man, he really he really doing his thing. You feel me? He really doing his thing. He really, you know what I'm saying? I, I hate even how that him like, look, bro. You know, like I know you're doing your comedian thing, there thing. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, we can't do the disrespect thing. Like mm. I don't want to be talking to you or yell or somebody. Then then we hang up. Then y'all saying f him and f him, but. Man, right. shout out to J Main for sure, man. He he, man, helped me with my YouTube thing. He, you know what I'm saying? H- uh, helped me get subscribers. Helped me set it up. Helped told me told me a lot with it. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> yeah, it's all love with that for yeah, sure. Yeah, we're big J Main believers over here. I think you got a long career ahead of him. Yeah, for sure. Definitely, the world needs somebody like him. So, okay, wh- uh, wh- this this one question that uh, we have written down is. What's up with the Lamron slash Taytown beef? Did you feel like at a certain point you were forced to pick sides? Um, I I really, truth, I really don't know what's up with that beef. You feel me? I really don't know. Like them, them guys, they they been around each other for years. Like these, like you know what I'm saying. So I really don't know. Like I, it it can't be too serious. You know what I'm saying? It's probably like you know they just agreeing to disagree or whatever they doing. Me on the outside looking in, I don't think it's nothing too serious though. Okay. I think they just. I mean, ain't you know what I'm saying? It can't be nothing too serious. I think like they just. Feel how they feel about yeah, each other. Yeah, but it's definitely because a lot of fans been wanting to see Reese and uh, Lil Dirk come together, and they ain't really been hanging out as of recently. So that's where. Yeah, yeah. What's your relationship like with Dirk right now? Like, do y'all have one or? Um, nah, no, nah, we ain't got no relationship. Like I say, he a Muslim, so that's 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 it. Yeah, that's really yeah. He, I really don't know. I I just know he was sick or whatever. Recently, I ain't really been hearing nothing from him though. But right. you like you know him though, cause like I, I heard you yeah. said that you met King Von in jail. Like yeah, what was yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I was around Dirk. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I'm definitely familiar with Dirk for sure, for sure. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, if somebody told you like, hey, Dirk wants to get on the phone with you, would you be happy to have that conversation? Yeah, he's Muslim for sure. So anybody who's Muslim gets like an extra level of pass from Tay Savage. Sure. They gonna always get an extra. You see, I don't even know him. Right. I'm, I see him. I'm like, hey, Muslim. So I'm like him. We get the chop lit up. Well, that's crazy to think that he might go home and just search your name on YouTube and all of a sudden get No, introduced. I told him. I told him, like, man, I, I don't think I said I was a rapper. I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm entertaining. He's like, oh, okay. I'm doing all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, you know, they they know. They know. They know, like, where we come from and, and that we strive. You see the tattoos. So he probably like, man, he probably. But some Muslims take it so serious that you're not even allowed to make music or, or be involved with the music side of things, right? Have you heard that? Yeah, I heard that. And, like, with Gates, like, when they were saying something about Dirk shooting a shooting a shooting a video and uh, man, Gates was making some points like, man, I don't wanna, like, times changing. You feel me? Times changing, and like he ain't did nothing wrong. Basically, like mm-hmm. he he pushing the dean. If you see anything, if you see them guys in there making us a lot. I'm like, oh man, man, do you know you know how many people tell me they want to convert to Islam? Like, yeah, bro, I want to take my shahada, bro. I wanna. It might be from off Dirk, the thing he did. He's definitely but, helped push it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I, I I liked it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I liked it. I, he, I liked that. Do you listen to the Dirk album? Um, I don't think I know. Nope. I don't think I did. Really? Nope. Are you like less connected to the the drill scene and all the stuff that's coming out of Chicago now? It's about the album he just dropped. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I ain't really know. Nope. I think I heard like a few songs. Like, yeah. I know. Just I heard listen the, the whole album. The J Cole feature. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. Ever yeah. heard that? Yeah, that's on the radio every five seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah I heard. That. I like that. I like that song. What have you been listening to lately? Anything in particular that stands out? Mm, truthfully, I'm gonna be honest with you. I really just be listening to like myself, or like, like you know the guys like Buki, Buki and me, because it it be more like a studying thing for me. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. I just, I just drop something. Now I'm trying to remember the lyrics, and so that's really what I be on. Right. You know or if, if I do go outside it outside the guys, it, it probably be like like you know what I'm saying, somebody we probably connected to. You interested in any music outside of hip hop though? Yeah. Yeah. I mean I'm trying to, I wanna do a lot. I'm trying to act. I wanna do a lot. 
like Pac. I like Pac. I, I I watched a lot of documentaries. I read a lot of books on Pac. I like I like Tupac. You know what I'm saying? So I'm under the I'm under in order to be a great leader. You had to once be a great follower type of thing. So I, I watch him. I, I study his his interviews. I study a lot of things he be saying. You know what I'm saying? So mm. that's really what I'm on. I'm, I'm trying to the the the, the poetry thing though. I'm, I, I gotta kind of I gotta kind of get into that though. Yeah. Would you make a reggaeton song with six nine? A what? A reggaeton? <laughs> like a Latin song, or like a <clears throat> you know the like Caribbean vibes they say, that they be they, bringing? They say your boy just got what two a couple million making a song with him, didn't they? Kodak got a million. A million? Yeah. Would to you, do a verse, twelve bars. Would you have accepted a million to do a song with Kodak? Oh, uh, six nine. Man, I ain't got no million, man. <laughs> I don't know. It had to be in my face. I don't know. I, I really don't know. I can't, because I, I ain't finna be in and be like, man, hell no, man. Fuck that million dollars. I don't know. What, I, it, uh, M? Right. What? I don't know. I might I might be like, bro, I don't know what I say, man. But, but I mean, I'm, it's kind of crazy, too, because he, he basically got paid a million dollars to diss him on the song. To diss him on the song. That was wrong. <laughs> he, he did. was wrong. He did that. Right. That was wrong. But I don't know, man. I, I really can't say, to be honest with you. But that, if you that, that's an M. If you're somebody like Kodak, I mean, being a gangster is clearly very important to him. And now he got people like Boosie coming out and basically saying that he's not allowed to call himself a gangster anymore or whatever. So yeah, man, that that is like the punishment that he has to deal with is that certain people are going to feel a way about it, even if for him he don't give a fuck. And that's and that's crazy, right, with Boosie? Because like growing up, like when I was younger, my my name was Badass. That was my name, so I always liked Boosie. So I ain't gonna lie, bro. If Boosie came out and said that about me, I'd be like, I feel like kind of disappointed, like damn. You know, mm. I, I like Boosie for sure. I like Boosie. I like 52. He go Reese right here. Oh, fuck. Yeah, let's talk to little Reese. What's going on, Reese? He is a goofy, bro. <laughs> bro, you got you got you got one of my Muslim sisters in the car with you? <laughs> you what? Hey, hey, where she at? Hey, where she at? Stop a lie. You know you're not supposed to be with him. You know you're not supposed to stop a lie. He's bad. He's bad. <laughs> <laughs> Salam alaikum, though. Let, let, let me holler at Reese real quick. Lil Reese, how you doing? Put it back by the mic so they can hear. Why you don't bro, fuck with me? Bro, cuz, bro, you be doing too much on your platform with my name, bro. Wait, what are you talking about? The shit thing? Bro, that shit ain't true. Why you bring? Why you study having people bring up some old shit that's not true? I was defending you. I was saying that I thought it was just the design on your why, ethicas. Why, why, they, why they ain't tell you I fucked them up? Who'd you fuck up? Shit, the niggas. Man, shut J Main. What's wrong with you? <laughs> you fuck J Main up? Bro, man, J Main. He, he J Main. He's got me, bro. He ain't gonna play with me. Oh, all right. When we get in the little recent interview in, we got to do our homework, our research, actually. No, oh, yeah. oh, I ain't gonna lie. I swear to God, you gotta pay me. What you gotta pay, but you gotta pay me for it. Yeah, I get, I got you on, uh, you know, get you a, a McDonald's gift card or something. Oh, hell no, that's too low. You gotta come with some. <laughs> you gotta he told me that's too low. You gotta come. Well, let's talk. I'll get I'll get your number hey, off hey, of. Uh... Hey, Adam, you got on oh, my mama, Adam. I do your shit, bro, but you really gotta pay me for it. I ain't gonna lie for real. Okay, well, we're gonna have security here and make sure they pat you down and everything because I'm a little worried that you might fuck me up. <laughs> He's a goofy. Hey, it hit different when Lil Reese turned you into a pack, you know? Bro, man, stop it, man. No. He too, I turned into a pack. I right, love Brody. Hit me, hit me. I'm, I'm gonna hit you when I, when I leave here. Uh, so you guys, real friends, huh? Yeah, that's my dog for sure. That's good to see. You know, I be ready to beat Reese ass sometime though. Yeah. Nah, that's my dog. When's the last time you fought? Last, man. I went. <laughs> what's that? The last time. I be having like little, little, little fight with like the guys and stuff, but. Outside of I me, mean, I had went to a club. So I'm at the club, you feel me? So I'm not, it's, it's a little female that I don't even know the female, but like we was at, like, we don't, we don't, like, I was trying to get my hair redid. So, so my cousin, like, hey, um, Shorty, he was talking to her friend. He, like, hey, Shorty, Shorty, um, do hair. So I'm like, she do hair? I'm like, yeah. So I slide up on, like, man, you do hair? She, like, yeah, I'm like, man, let me get your number. And I'm a, um, I'm a car, cause I, I, be, I be trying to get my head did out here. She, all right, cool. So as I'm talking to her, her boyfriend woke up, like, Man, what's about the band? Woo? So I'm what? 
So he get to tweak and I'll bust his ass. But he big as hell. He, I'll bust his ass. So, we, But n- not even knowing that this dude, like, security in the club. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like me and, like, my little brother, my little cousin. It's probably like four of us. It's probably like three, four of us. But he's he like he's sec- he's security in the club, but he was like off that day type of thing. So now we fighting the whole club, like the security, the guys, and all type of shit, man. That was like my last like real like. When was that? Shit, this was like when I first came home. It's like when I first came, I still had to. I dropped his ass. <laughs> my son dropped his ass. He probably watching this. He know. Right. See, okay, I'm gonna be real with you. I was just I, I should have said this when he was still on the line, but I think Reese is a pioneer in the sense that. He's the first person who figured out that he could go and do interviews and just like basically not answer any of the questions that he don't want to answer by just saying that he needs to do his research. Like yeah. that shit is like a meme, but it actually is kind of like Strategic. more. It's more epic than people give him credit for. Yeah, Rishi smart. Yeah, like motherfucker be thinking like Rishi smart. He definitely, he definitely like he be giving me like a lot of game. You feel me? I be asking like, man, what you think about this? Yeah, man, nah. One thing about Reese, he bought that paper. Like he ain't moving unless it's money. Right. That's just how he coming. That's how he coming. Me, you know, but I feel like he can kind of do that though. You know what I'm saying? He, he, like you say, he a pioneer, not only in in, in, in that, but you know, even in the drill culture. So I, I feel like he kind of got that leverage, but you know me, I'm just trying to network. You know, I'm, 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 I'm growing. Right. So definitely. So I seen that song with Mellow Bucks going crazy. How, how did you uh, form a relationship with her? Um, I think we did that through Lousy. Um, my little brother Lousy. Lousy to Hollis. But yeah, he, he got like a, a um a relationship with her. So he like, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. That is you out the band. So he he connected the dots. And I, I fuck with Melo. I fuck with Melo tough. I, I I like her, I salute her, I like everything she doing. <clears throat> I'm 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 I definitely rock with her. I'm definitely behind her hundred percent. Melo signed the uh well she rocked with uh, No Limit, right? Yeah, yeah, she rocked with No Limit. What's your relationship with any of the guys like G Herbo or any of them? Um I ain't never really, I, like, I've been around them, like, once or twice, but I ain't never really, we ain't never really chop it up, you feel me? But it's, it's a few of them that I wrote, I wrote that I know, like, Ricky. Yeah. No Limit Ricky. Um, let me see. Um, Mansky, I like Mansky. Mansky, Mansky. Yeah, I heard he, of Mansky. Yeah, Mansky, Mansky, like, when I was locked up, he was trying to stand on, like, helping me come home. So I, I like him for sure. I ain't really get a chance to chop it up with him. Like, that's not been out of whatever, but I, I like Mansky, though. Yeah, it is pretty crazy too when you think about uh, Bibby and them, how they fucking signed Juice World. Like, that's gotta be. I like Bibby too. That's one of the most epic things that anybody from Chicago has ever done. Like, even aside from just being Juice World or whatever, but just being street dudes from Chicago and discovering talent like him yeah. and being able to help yeah, orchestrate sure. his whole career. That's that's insane. Yeah, that that's what I like about Bibby. You know what I'm saying? I don't really know too much about Bibby, but I like that about Bibby for sure. Bibby, actually, Bibby, what I, what I would say. Bibby did what like a lot of people were probably supposed to do. Bibby got in there, did his one two network and took off and took off. You know, like Bibby doing this thing. I, I heard he just opened a dispensary or something or something. He got a lot going on. Mm. So I, I, I like I like Bibby. It seemed like he be staying out the way. Out the way. You know, and that's 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 great. You know what I'm saying? Bibby name ain't mixed up in nothing. Well, I don't I don't hear it. I don't be hearing it either. That's great. He he did what you really supposed to do. I, it be hard too though. You know what I'm saying? Especially like. Certain people too, it'd be kind of hard probably to just over just take off and and just I don't know, but man, sometimes you gotta take off, bring who you who you could bring with you because you can't bring everybody and, and just. What was your thoughts on Juice World? Man, he was so raw. His I, what, what I like about Juice World and I was listening to him in jail. It's like if you listen to his lyrics, it's like it's like dark. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You you, you listen yeah. to him, you gotta listen to his words. You like damn, you could tell he was going through something. That's why I like him. Like, and even when you hear him now, like on that Thug album, there's a song with Thug and Juice World and Nicki, and like just hearing Juice World on that shit and just like getting this reminder of how fucking good he was, and yeah. there was just something about his voice that it just brings life to songs. Like he was just, yeah, he sure. really was incredible, sure. man. And he, man, he was wrong. I, I just like, man, I just, I just hate that really happened to him. I just, just couldn't rap that. Like, damn, man, like what? I, I don't know. You know, you always say what you would have did. I don't know, but I just I just hate that happened to him because he definitely had a lot of talent for sure. Definitely. You know, there's another little Bibby from 4PF because he was DMing me and I thought it was the other little Bibby. And I thought, like, oh, like he's going to do an interview. And then I realized it was a totally different person. Little I, baby I felt kind of bad. Yeah. 
No, I'm not even tuned in. I got he's like from Atlanta. And he he had to tell me, like, he's like, you know that's not, not me. The same, I'm baby. not the same dude. <laughs> but I, I should actually check his music out just because, you know, I, I was communicating with him. Whatever. Um, okay, so there's this whole revolutionary new thing going on in Chicago where or just on the internet in general where people are leaking the this Cook old County. yeah, the old jail footage. Are we going to see some Tay Savage uh, classics hitting the, the internet at some point? Well, I'm going to be honest with you. I know I, I really wasn't fighting like that. I got into a few fights, but most of the fight, like, I probably got into like, while well, I was in the county, I probably got into like three fights. Most of my county, most of my fights were probably like like under the stairs type of shit. All right, so like I seen one where Vaughn, he had a, I, you could tell they had words that he had went under the stairs or something. Mm-hmm. You know, so that's that's usually what we go. We're going to the stairs, so you, the camera can't see you. You'll fight, and you'll get over. You know, you go about your day. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes it don't go like that. So, but yeah, for, for the most part, I really want. I really want doing too much. I, I was chilling. I, I, I think I was the same like one time. Mm-hmm. I seen you said that you got in a fight, uh, and Ruga helped you in a fight while I was in jail. Yeah, this was this was this was 20. This when I met like Vaughn. This was like 2010, 2011. You feel me? Oh, uh, early on. Yeah, yeah. How was your like? What was your relationship like with Ruga? You knew him before jail, or y'all met in jail? Man, Ruga actually went to high school together. Ruga went to high school, so, but we wasn't really talking like that in high school though. But you know how it be you, like everybody know each other. Yeah, you you come to jail, you be like, oh damn, that's that's Ruga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I used to see him with, you know. So I'm like, okay. So you know, we get to chop it up. You know, we get to talk about feet. You know, in jail, man, ain't you ain't got nothing to do but talk. So you yeah. in there like, man, what's up with you? It's a girl from over there from y'all. And y'all, yeah, she fucking on her. And you know, that's how we just talk. It's just, you know, so, you know, I, I'm chopping up with him or whatever. But, yeah, like he said, it's really like a deck thing, you know what I'm saying? On the deck, we all, like, everybody going to really ride together type type of thing, for sure. Right. Did you, uh, did, how did you feel, like, there's a new narrative that people are kind of tr- trying to paint about King Vaughn? Like, obviously, when he said that he was gay or whatever, so he didn't have to go into a certain dorm, we know he's not actually gay and he was just saying that. But do you consider that to be dishonorable to like try to avoid being around your ops while you're locked up like that? No. No, I'm fuck how tough you is or whatever. You take your ass on and get your ass pound. And there's knives. So listen, in the county, in the county, right? They got they got deck. Okay, so look, the county had kind of started letting people pick what deck they want to go on. So of course you got a deck full of all BDs or GDs? Yeah, we just gonna say BDs, GDs. It's yeah. one deck full of all GDs and who they rest, who they ride with from out west or whatever, or whatever. Then you got one deck full of all BDs and who they ride with or whatever. So now you get out of SIG or something, and then they taking your ass on deck with you. No. So look, this, this my this my thing. You got a few options. You got a few options. You gonna all right? So look, if like like I said before, if they out, then I'm like, all right, fuck it. I'm just gonna go on here, take off one day. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna have to take me off the deck anyway. As soon as I get on, as soon as I pull my shit in, I'm finna take off on one day ass in the day room. And we out that bitch. We finna do this right here. Cause I ain't finna let y'all plan or nothing. We finna go take care of this bitch right here. Mm. But as you see, they they won't even know. Man, Do- Vaughn was trolling. Vaughn, you know, I I don't agree with this, but in jail, a lot of niggas be like playing all like that gay shit like that. Well, like I ain't gonna say gay shit, but you know, like that all the that like dookies and savage life. All not, that. not even that. <laughs> that's like, some real violence, not, not, right? Like that. That's just weird. Not even that. Like, like they like. I don't know. Like guys, for some reason in jail, they they like we want to like play like, like like they gay. Like oh, what's up? What the band or yeah? Yeah, white people do that so, all the time. That's just normal. And I to don't us. get it. You're not lying. <laughs> I don't get it. They but in jail they do it a lot. So Vaughn was trolling. He, bye and all that. Yeah, he yeah. was trolling. Like dude, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't never seen him do like. But you know they always gonna try to say some though. But there was another clip where he said he didn't want to go to PC because Lil J was in there, right? He probably didn't want to go to PC because now he said PC. Now he probably like, man, I don't want to go to PC. Right. I really ain't trying to go there for real. Because sometimes they will make you go. You try to play like yeah, PC. They say no, no, you going to PC. Now he's like, man, I'm in PC. Who want to go to PC? So he not. I don't see him ducking. I don't see. This is me personally. I don't see him ducking nobody. What he ducking like? What he ducking J for? Right. I don't see him ducking nobody. Do you, do you think differently of Lil J after seeing some of that footage from him while he was locked up? Man, I had been heard a lot of that, man. I don't know. He said it ain't him, so I don't know, man. Right. Lil J said it ain't him. I heard him on the phone with J-Main going hard saying that it was not him, but 
even like Jay Main, like this is his boy. Like he's telling Jay Main, yeah, it's not me. And Jay Main is just kind of laughing at him, like, I don't know, bro. I seen it. I feel like it's you. Said, Billy said, he Billy and Yellow said. <laughs> yeah, that nigga funny, man. But I don't know, bro. Like, you know, I mean, to each his own, man. I mean, I don't know. I just me personally, like, whoa. Could you be homies with somebody still if you knew that they were on that type of time? Homies. Like, like what I what I hang with Lil J. Basically, what you're saying like, yeah, like not, not Lil J. If, if it was my if guy, it was your guy, would that mean that you like couldn't hang out with him anymore? Or? Man, listen, listen. I got gay cousins and stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? So I love my cousins. You know, I don't know. Like, I, when I be seeing them, you know, I cuz what up, cuz? Yeah, the band. But when the guys, no, I don't feel like I'm not like no homophobe or nothing. You feel me? But like. I just feel like the type of life we live, I just ain't never seen that. I ain't never seen, like, no, like, I don't think you could do both. I don't think you could do both. So I probably just fall back off a of nice love. Like, it ain't it ain't like you you told on nobody or nothing like that. You doing what you doing. Like, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. Like, but you be having going on with your swinger thing. <laughs> now, now, listen. Now, listen. It's true. A lot of people, a lot of people like, man, make sure you say something about that, man. Mm-hmm. Like that. Me personally, I don't I don't think that's weird, bro. What you do with your lady and what y'all do, that's between y'all. Like, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Right. I don't like I <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. But kind of foreign too. Like you you probably wouldn't do it. I mean, I don't really know what all y'all do, to be honest with you. I heard y'all got some shit going well, on. Well, we though, do right? we do porn and me and her shoot with other girls all the time. But then for the first time a couple weeks ago, she did a scene with another guy for the first time ever. Right. Um no, bro. Like me personally, I don't. I don't know, but I don't. I don't look at you like no. I don't. You look at me differently because of other things. I ain't gonna lie. You interviewing goofy. You be low, yeah. You be low-key pissing me off sometimes. I ain't gonna lie. What the fuck, man? I'm just doing shit. What the fuck is he doing? But for that, nah, bro. I don't, I don't really. I don't really. I don't get me. Per- I think from being in jail, I learned to mind my business. Mm. I don't. I don't care what you do with your lady. Y'all love that. That's that's perfect for y'all. I don't get what like I'm not. Oh yeah, that's weird. I don't care. I don't care. In jail, there's so much fucked up shit going on all the time that it's like bro, <laughs> the stuff that happens out here bro, doesn't really I, scratch mind, the surface. Mind your business. That's no mind your business. You see something, I'm on the phone. I'm oh man. Yeah, what's your phone though? Mm-hmm. You feel me? Man, you gotta mind your business. Right? So are you are you seeing a girl that you were seeing while you were locked up, or did you get into a relationship since you got up? Yeah, y'all. You got a new one. No, 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 no. Oh. While I was locked up. She held you down the whole time or just part of it? Yeah. The whole time? Yeah. Eight and a half years? Yeah. Strong, too. Wow. Strong, too. And how old are you right now? Uh, I'm young. So you were like high school age, though, when you went yeah, in, yeah. right? Or like 20, maybe? Yeah. I seen a rumor where it's, well, I don't know if it's rumor or not, but uh, it said that you, King Von, and uh, Melly used to date Mina Red. That's the thing. Mina? Uh, me, King Von, Melly. Man. We was kind of young when, when I was talking to Mina. Mina, 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 like found me. I like Mina. I like Mina. I, I, ain't, really, I ain't really gonna say nothing bad about Mina because Mina been in gyms, ain't told on nobody or nothing. So I salute, I salute Mina. So I ain't gonna say, I can't say nothing bad about Mina, but we, we really like family though. I ain't, we, we was shorty, like we was young. Like she kind of look younger than me, but yeah, we was young. So yeah. yeah. I love when you have that in common with some, some homies, when you all have the same body in common. I don't, I don't that makes me care. feel close we, to you. Me personally, I don't be caring. <laughs> like a lot of people do, they kill you over that though. Really? What? Over fucking a girl in your pa- in their past? Maybe. Really? Fuck her and they think you want her again. Mm. They'll smoke you. I'm. Uh, I mean, I don't. I don't really be caring. That's like insecurity. I think chill kind of turned me like cold. I don't be caring. Yeah, that to me reminds me of being in like high school and you were like, you start dating a girl and you know she kissed some dude before and you just mad as fuck. I don't. I couldn't imagine feeling like that as an adult. Yeah, because I think I did. Back then, I I, I had gotten a few guys asked for like, I think it was more of a respect thing, though. Mm. Like, man, you know, you, you know, know who I am, and you know this, my like, stop playing with me, dude. But now I'd be like, man, yeah, you know, what's this? what you say? I didn't say nothing, all right. That was how I felt with the dude who shot the porno with my wife. Is that I was like, all right, if we're going to do this, you can't be bro. talking crazy in an interview after the fact, right? Bro, why is you telling this man, J Man, <laughs> send you a dick pic, bro? <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with y'all, bro? Okay, okay. I feel like people are, are going out of their way <laughs> to not understand what was happening in that conversation. He said, I need to be on OnlyFans or have a porn site, and I need to be getting money off of porn. I said, all right, well, what's your meat like? 
and he freaks out. But I'm like, well, obviously, if you're going to do porn, you got to have a thang on you, or you got to, and you got to know how to use it. But that's true. But listen, I mean, that, that, <laughs> that's, that, that's kind of irrelevant. That, that's kind of, that, because listen, now they got all type of shit. He can, even if he didn't, he probably could get the pump pills. I don't know. Mm. So that's, you don't need to be showing no dick But pics, if he man. got a little like three and a half inch, I don't think the pump and the pill is going to do it. Oh, see, I don't know. I no, don't yeah. Know. I don't know. You got to be gifted if you want to make I it in this game. I, then they got the surgeries going on. You probably could drop a 10K on the, on the pipe. I don't know. Yeah, but that should have you fucked up. They go into your body and dig it out, pull it out an extra inch and a half. Because they, they say everybody got like an extra some in you them. You got some extra in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah. I mean, shit, I could use an extra inch and a half. Why not? I ain't having no surgery. I'm going to have to <laughs> Man, do, that's what, crazy. The do what I like gave me. You never get the lipo? No, nah, hell no. Nah. Man, you can work out. <laughs> like you can work out. Hell no, I ain't doing that. What that? Ain't that like a BBL or something? Nah, but the BBL is where they take the fat out and put it in your ass. Some people just get the fat out, like Bayman Kevo. Okay, but what is that called though? Just lipo. Just lipo, yeah. Yeah. Just okay, lipo. okay. But you can get it to whatever part of your body you wants. Some girls be getting it on their arms. I rather, or... just, I rather just work out. I mean, I, I, I don't, if you do it, cool. I ain't like I ain't saying nothing bad about them, but me personally, I just work out, bro. Like I'm short, you know, short. You know how you short, you. I could do ten push ups now and be like, you know what I'm saying? So I just work out, bro. I just started that. And I am I do I've been doing that. I, yeah. I diet quick and, and work out and you probably have a six pack in like a month or two if you really if went crazy on the diet. Yeah. I'm finna start dieting right now. Really? You know? I'm probably finna Gates got me up on I'm probably finna do like a a, a a no meat diet probably for like a month or two. You're gonna go vegan like Dirk? I ain't know he was I ain't know he was vegan. He said I was watching the uh Nardwar interview with him and he said he was vegan. So those, so those by now have no oh, type shit. of, so <laughs> those by now have, they by now have no type of animal, animal products in them. Then. They honestly might because that's from like four or five years ago. Okay, okay. So, yeah. But I'm sure they have all kinds of vegan cereal out there too. That's what yeah, I was they thinking. They got vegan. They make it so easy. I was now. thinking that's why you had to cancel the tour because you ain't eat meat. It's fucking probably you know, good. meat. That shit ain't no even vitamins. like. You know, we weren't even like from reading books. We weren't even like made to eat meat. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I feel pretty that's, good, that's, damn that's good like after a steak. We, we developed these canine teeth like after, like we we uh, evolved them, whatever it's called. But right. Yeah, we want we mostly was eating like plant stuff. And, if you do go vegan, I hope you come back to the meat side. Pause. See, here you go. Here you go. <laughs> you on your tangerine thing. <laughs> Yo, what does that even mean? Because they were saying J. So, Main was calling uh, J- Lil J the Chirac tangerine. I'm like, where's tangerine so I come guess, from? I guess they was calling him the Chirac Wolverine right. at first. <laughs> and the tangerine is what, a fruit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So J. Main crazy. Oh, that man. is funny. I don't know how he be coming up with this shit. Damn. Would you do an interview with you, J. Main, and Adam in person? Yeah, for sure. That'd really? Be hard. Sure. I think that would be for incredible. Sure. Yeah, J Main, yeah, for sure. I, I, I like J Main, man. J Main, J Main, he um he gave me a lot of game, you feel me? I like J Main. For sure. Are you uh in serious conversations about signing to a label right now? Because you sent me a picture yeah. of you with somebody who's like a very high level A and R and I had to tell you, I'm like, bro, that's crazy. And you didn't know that they had actually signed a shitload of like huge artists. Man, you know what's crazy, bro? What's crazy is uh he had got up with me on, on IG. I ain't even know who he was, you feel me? Dude, real humble dude. He ain't even say like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm this guy. He ain't even say that. And he pulled up on me in the trenches. You feel me? My homie got killed the next day. You know what I'm saying? My homie get killed the next day. So I, I, I like him. I like him. I like him. Just the little conversation we be having, you know that. It be, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, I got, I got a few. Like, I, got, I, got some, I, got some, I got I got a lot going on in the works. Okay. And, and I'm going to start the gaming thing, too. You're going to start streaming? Yeah, I'm going finna, I'm finna to get my own, what is it, Surfer? Surfer? Server. 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 Oh, you play GTA? Yeah, I like GTA. I oh, always okay. play GTA. That'll be hard. Yeah. I seen you I'm recently. Getting all the ops. Getting all us. Well, actually, that's crazy because there's some New York rappers that I know. I was interviewing this dude, C Blue, and he's playing the game and he basically he has beef with this other dude, Didi Osama. And Didi he, Osama, yeah. I just and he him. goes and does a fucking like drive by on Didi Osama in the game, bumping his music, but he went very out of his way to not play music where he actually was dissing Didi Osama's dead brothers or whatever but he did a drive-by in the game and i was like this is a fucking very hey, look, weird metaverse world hey, that listen, we're living in all of a sudden do you could could you imagine that though could you imagine like us starting that boom like all right we start putting our beefs actually in the game you know what i'm saying like we ain't we ain't sliding no more we actually putting our beefs in the game i love that idea but also it's like if you play ufc against somebody that you have problems with and then 
they lose, it's like, are they actually going to let the beef go? I don't think so. I think they're just going to be more mad. Yeah, it's a possibility. Like, I just seen, I just posted some, I just seen some people from uh, St. Louis. I think you posted that. Or say, cheat somebody. That, but they was fighting their ops. Mm-hmm. In the game? No, no, in real life. Really? St. Yeah. Louis? Does that sound familiar? Instagram guy? Yeah. No, I ain't see it. Hmm. Yeah, they, they, they was actually fighting their ops. Nah, I think that's kind of crazy too. That was somebody. Still you talking about like fighting your ops? Cause you like a lot of people ain't fighting nowadays. That's they got the mean. gloves on. Oh, you talking about like a yeah, real deal fight? Oh, in real yeah. life, yeah. A real setup fight thing. Oh shit! Okay. Would that be something you open to? Hell yeah! I want to beat the shit out of a few people. Who? Who? <laughs> <laughs> just a few people, man. It's just a lot of people. Just, I would beat the shit, and I know they can't fight. Cause I seen Ruga and uh, Tay Six Hundred on on uh, Instagram Live together yeah. the other day. I seen what they was trying to do, man. They was trying to do it, but you know, it's just, you know. It went left right away, right? It yeah, was, it went left. I seen <laughs> what they was trying to do. It, it could have been a good conversation, but it's like there was just too much ego wrapped up in it, right? But it's a start, though. Yeah, you know it's, a start. it's a start. But could you, would you do that? Would you do the Instagram Live thing with somebody that you truly hated? I had to do it with a, with a, with a person that they got, like, some sense. You mm. know what I'm saying? I know little boy, and you know, it got to be a person that really matter and really got some sense. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's really trying to do something for they people. So if, if you're on live with me and I don't even know who to add, but I just, boom, I just add somebody else from Chicago and it just turns out that this is like your mortal enemy, the last person that you would ever want to have anything to do with, you're not hopping off the live. You're going to just no, try to chop it up and I'm on, what's up, bro? What's laugh up, bro? at it. What's, what's up, bro? What you want? The internet, bro. I don't be, I don't like doing all that. I don't, I don't like, uh, Sometimes I I get I got be so heated like cause I know like you a bitch and you playing with me but for the most part I just be, I just be like man you know I just be man what's up bro what you on like <laughs> mm. you know how you feeling I mean you seem like you're pretty good at keeping your bullshit off of the internet whereas please, a lot of people are please, very bad at please that please do that's y'all any that like that's 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 dry snitching mm. that's dry snitching you putting yeah we do you, that's dry snitching right or wrong. Uh, what if 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 somebody if if if, if somebody if if a uh, a crime happens, and you talk about it on internet when we all know you know that the feds watch the internet yeah. you know that the feds watch the internet y'all know the feds watch the internet so you know that the, 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 that the feds watch it you on that yeah nigga we who watch the bam and what y'all gonna do oh yeah y'all did that and that's trust snitching I'm mm-hmm. not doing none of that I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna do none of that because I'm I mean I'm really not trying to be involved with none of that anyway mm-hmm. but. I'm not gonna go back and forth with you on about nothing. Like. I know you're cool now, but did did you feel like J Man crossed the line by even like bringing old cases of yours up for discussion? But yeah, but also J-Man. those are those are situations that you beat already, right? Yeah, so so yeah, I beat it, but okay, like at the same time, you know, this this somebody people though. Mm. You see what I'm saying? So now so now you know people probably get to even though they probably won't even know, don't even know nothing about what the fuck was going on. You feel me? But they probably get to you know what I'm saying? Then they. Somebody get fucked up behind it or something, so you just gotta be careful with that. J Man, me personally, I just be laughing. I'm like, bro, you tweaking like, what is you doing, dude? Like, what? You know what I'm saying? Cause I, me, I look at him like a comedian. You know what I'm saying? I, but mm. he, he, he funny as hell though. He just be tough to be. Yeah, he can get away with a lot of shit that other people wouldn't be able to get get away with. But then also, look how much we brought him up during this interview. Like he's he's really like occupying a lot of space in people's minds just Man. by coming out here and everybody talking shit. Talking about, everybody talking about hit different. Yeah. Whoop whop. <laughs> Yeah. He, he doing his thing. I notice sure. when I'm rapping along the songs and there's an N word or whatever, I'll be saying whoop instead now. Yeah. That's a J Main so influence. What you used to say? Just <laughs> eh. <laughs> or, or just nothing. Just, yeah. just not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Uh, okay. Um. So. Oh, okay. We got our Muslim questions out of the way. Yeah. I got a question. Uh, okay. So yeah, what's your? Did you have a relationship with FBG Duck? No. With Duck. Um. With Doug, um, I used to see Doug through being that black. Doug, Lil J, and them, all of them. You know, we'll go over there, rotate with Billy. And then, you know, really not really want no smoke. Like, we'll go rotate with them, then we'll go get over Reese and O'Block. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, they knew we weren't on no, on no BS and on no weed. But we, we kind of, truthfully, we kind of was more rotating with Reese and them. But Billy was doing his thing with them. So, you know. Truthfully, we really ain't like it at first because he was getting to it with them and they were, like, it was just a lot of stuff going on. So we like, bro, you tweaking, why you hanging with them? You feel me? But he like, them my guys. Why the he damn? moved on that block, right? 63rd. He moved on that block. And we we really ain't like it at first. We really It was like a lot going on at first. Then he got to the, really, they got to the rapping and he got to really rotate with him. So we like, all right, cool, you know. 
and your people cool, but we still, where we from, we still had ties with Lamron and O'Block, and you know what I'm saying? So we'll go kick it with Billy, see them, what's up, what you want, walk the bam, and then we'll, yeah, we finna get up out of here, we'll go and chill in O'Block, you know what I'm saying? But um, Duck, Duck from the low end, so sometimes he used to come to the low end, he'll come down there, like on 39th, and he'll just chill, he'll be out there, and we'll be out there. There been times he was out there, Louie was out there. Duck and Louie together? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy how like all y'all like know each other and actually like at one point used to be friends, but then like over time I guess people just get like forced to like choose a side, right? Yeah, you gotta choose a side, man, because this is the thing. This is the thing with that side, man. You if you don't, it's like the other side of feel some type of way, you feel me? Then it, it that, that opened up doors for backdoor activity or you know what I'm saying? Like, oh you keep eye. Right. And you might not even be on nothing. You might just be like, nah, you know, you like we ain't buddy buddy, but what the bam, but so you you just gotta have a, a understanding with the people you messing with. You gotta be messing with some people that's that that's actually like similar thinking type of thing. You still cool with Billionaire Black though? Yeah, Billy Billy cool, like Billy cool, like we don't like we don't really rotate every day or nothing like that, but it ain't like I ain't got no smoke with him. Man, like I see him, I'm oh yeah, I'm busting this shit. I'm like, yeah, Billy cool, Billy rapping this shit. It's just, I, it's just, it's just a lot. I don't be liking is the dissing. You know, they got the, what they got going mm. on, and then, and then they, they get the dissing. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't That's why it. it's very hard to be somebody who's kind of like in the middle, like you, where like you get along with some of them, you don't get along with all. But then the dissing kind of makes it like hard for people to accept that you might yeah. be cool with people on so both the, sides, the, right? The, the thing with the thing with Billy is like, it's like you know, his brother is from still from my hood. You feel me? Mm. Like his brother from Wilkesboro. We know his mama, everybody, you feel me? So it's just like, I just, I, that's the one thing I don't, I don't really be liking that dissing. Like, you, like, can't really. Can't I feel like Billy, one of the pioneers, like, if with the E Days, you serious, that's like one of the songs that probably kicked off a lot of the dissing, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. So where was you at when that song came out? Like, where was y'all, you was friends with anybody from 600 and Billionaire at the um, time where it put you in like a rough situation? Like, damn. From 600 at the time? No, nah, not really 600. You know, we was rotating with Tay. You know, he was always like liberal around us or whatever, but we ain't really, really had no real ties with 600 at that time. Really, period, me personally, we ain't really had no super ties with 600. Like you see him, oh, okay, we'll the band, what's up, child? We really want no smoke, we really want no yeah. best friend, buddy, buddy type of thing either, though. Okay, this is one I wanted to ask you about. <laughs> so I seen an Instagram live clip where King Yella and some other people were, were talking shit about YBN Namir because he used to claim to be a GD. Hey, who? YBN Namir. I don't even know who that is. Oh. <laughs> Where are you from? He's, he's, from he's, yeah, he's from Alabama, but then he moved out to California. I'll just, yeah. And so he had a couple of hits like a few years ago or whatever, but he'd been in California for a few years. That's funny you don't know who he is just because you've been locked up. You would definitely know who it was if you weren't locked up because he had these big records and shit. But from Alabama, then he moves to California, and at some point stops saying he's GD and basically gets down with a crip set in Long Beach. Does that strike you as kind of weird, or do you think that that's acceptable if you like move somebody somewhere for a long period of time and you like realistically? He was saying he was GD when he was like 15, so, 16. So the thing is, like certain hoods you would go to, okay, like it might not be no GDs around at all, and you hang with these crips every day, and they'd be like, bro. Like you ain't finna be around us. You not no crip or you not no blood. You like right. Like what you finna do? Like you I mean, he's been in California for like six yeah. years or some shit. Yeah, at a it, certain it's point. some it's it, it's some organizations. They be like, I right. they don't even want you in the business if you're not really. So you around them, you just an AA. You really like a goofy. You mm. know what I'm saying? So I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I really don't. I, I feel like shit. I, I mean, I really don't know. Right. To be honest with you, it's like where we at. We really don't. Well, I'm, well, we yeah, we really don't care about that to be honest. We don't care about no gangs like 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 that. You know what I'm saying? We I right, these guys, this that, this that. But really, we be on like we Welch up. We forty three forty is what we on. When he was saying he was GD, he was like fifteen playing GTA too, which I kind of feel like is probably not the realest I version mean, of that in the first wanna, place. You don't want to ask bro shit. He, uh, well, he's from a different one. He cribbing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I could guess what he would say. Yeah. That you don't approve of people switching sets? Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Geechee Gotti. Good so guy. So I'm saying, so I'm saying, right? He GD. Ain't no GDs in Cali, really, right? Ain't no GDs. So he he around y'all. And every day and then like y'all, y'all so so y'all ain't gonna push up on him like 
Man, bro, like, cuz, like, he ain't finna keep. We don't push up on him, but I would rather him just be like, shit, I ain't switching. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That's like me being in, you know, somebody else's hood. I move here, I've been living there. It's like, I gotta keep pushing what I've been pushing. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would hope is. Like, hell yeah, I done seen niggas switch that, and some niggas done switched, and they turned up for their new settings, you know what I mean? And did their thing, but I just think it's more frowned upon out here just because, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. Yeah. They stay heavy on the game banging. They have, they still game. We ain't really game banging like that for real. Mm. We more set, set banging, set right? Banging. Yeah. Well, there are a lot of Chicago rappers who've been out here for a long ass time and they didn't start claiming something different. Yeah, but they probably ain't hanging. You see right. what I'm saying? He probably with them every day. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They they just out here. They just probably in, got cribs out here, but they still from the rack. They still going to the rack. They bringing their guys from the rack out here. Right. Or wherever they from. How'd you feel about FBG Butter saying that he used to bully you? Nah, he wasn't talking about me. Oh. I don't even know him. Bully who? Did he say that? He never met Butter? No, he don't. He ain't talking about me. He probably talking about Pappy, bro. They, they, oh, they the into other it. Gotta be. He ain't talking about me. He ain't talking about you. Uh, I mean, I believe it, but I'm just saying that's... Yeah, they, they. I heard them say something about some Glock, Doobie and shit. Nah, bro, I'm not playing like that at all. I don't know what happened with them, but no, he ain't, he ain't talking about me. The Glock Doogies are real, though? What? Yeah, they will blow your ass down. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. You ever all in your mouth? No. You ever use one <laughs> no, or be on one. the other end of it? No. Thank God, no. What about the savage life? I'm not doing none of that. What is the savage life? Knocking people out, spinning their ass. Oh, okay, yeah. That's, that's like, that's like. You can't play with that, that either? No. You, you knocked him out already, so he embarrassed. You doing spinning his butt? Like, that's, you just. Yeah, can we have some dignity? So you pulled his pants down. Nah, bro, I ain't on that. Yeah. That's a lot. Extra. Cuba was doing that in, on the deck you was on, though, or it wasn't? No, they, they came, like, once I left. They weren't doing that. Well, it happened one time. The, the, one of the guys that started it, he did it. And, you know, everybody was talking about it. Then a lot of the guys kept, I left, and they kept doing it, kept doing it. Who started it? <laughs> who was dude, the innovator? Dude, <laughs> yeah, who started it? From, uh, from his squad named Montana, Baby D. So he's the creator of Savage Life. Yeah. Baby D. Baby D. He might need an interview. That's some crazy shit. He locked up. Maybe he locked up. Just being locked up for so long, you start inventing shit like that. Yeah, that shit weird to see. It's crazy, though, too, that Rico Reckless got all the credit for talking about it because nobody knew what it was, I don't think. And then he came on my podcast and Vlad's podcast and talked about it. They both went viral. And then fucking Joe Rogan, biggest podcast in America, in the world, he actually played the clip of Rico Reckless describing the Glock Dookie and laughed his ass off at the whole idea of it. That's fucking crazy. Joe Rogan knowing about this. That's crazy. Yeah, that shit weird, bro. Them niggas actually take shit, chop it up, put it in chop a bottle, up, put magic shave, put pepper and salt, whatever you could think of, Drano, and sit it there and shake it up and just let it sit, let it marinate for like days and months. So your cell got a stink too if you just... I, I would imagine. You just made I it sound imagine. so much worse than it originally sounded to That's what they do, bro. That shit will fuck you up. Like, sometimes it hits you in skin. So they know how to do it to where it hits you, and then you wipe off skin, and it like, man, that shit, that shit fucked up, bro. It ain't nothing nice. What the fuck? That shit ain't, you fuck around and catch AIDS doing that goof ass shit. That is probably, like, one of the worst things that I think human beings have ever thought up. Yeah. What about, <laughs> what do you think about the uh, nickname that everyone's giving you of John Wick? John Wick. You're embracing that. I see you got a title, uh, a project coming out, right? Yeah. I'm going to name it Tay Wick, though. I ain't trying to get sued by nobody. Mm. <laughs> so you just kind of embracing it? Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I like it, though. Probably because it come from J-Man. You know, he's so funny. So, yeah, I like it. Definitely. Do you, uh, I got some shit from some uh, lazy podcasters who basically were saying that I was fucked up for putting Crip Mac and J Main on the same Instagram live because they started kind of threatening each other and getting into it. To me, it was obvious that it was a joke, but there's some lazy podcasters out there who don't really take a lot of time to think about what they're saying and they're, they're so, they have bad media literacy, so they have a hard time understanding what's real and what isn't. They're trying to keep up with the young kids. Do you think that there was anything wrong with Crip Mac and J Main being on that call together? Hell no, nah. I ain't. They into it like they they was beefing. It was a joke because like you and me know that the the odds of a a, a crip from L A. and a and a guy from Chicago 
getting into it like that and yeah. really having some, a problem. It would take something real in order for them to really have Man, a problem, right? that shit right? was funny. That shit was hilarious to me. I think they, I, I seen them on a live after that talking and laughing about it. Yeah. That shit was funny. But I really wanted to see them fight, though. I wanted to see if J-Man was going to let God. that man beat his ass. But I seen them fight a few times, man. J-Man? No. Crip Mac. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, man. This is my thing. J-Man is a small dude. Crip Mac is like one of the biggest dudes you'll ever see. He's like six, seven. I seen them. He's huge. But that don't mean nothing, though. Yeah, right. but still, at a certain level, when somebody is like real small and somebody else is really big, bro, it just doesn't seem like they should fight. That, I mean, I get it, and that's why they make weight classes, but, bro, I yeah. ain't going to lie. That don't mean nothing, J-Man. I mean, it's just a pit of what he do. You just got to do the right shit. But I've been fighting big motherf- motherfuckers bigger than me. I rarely fight a motherfucker my side. Mm. So, shit. Yeah, I think J May. I think J May would have probably got him though. Mm. They need to go and set that up though. I thought they supposed to be getting some money for that or something. I mean, that is a great idea. That'd be hilarious. That would be amazing That'd for be both of their careers. Sure. So is he a comedian? And is Crip he from Mac? the dude from That's So Raven or that? That's a joke. <laughs> Corey Baxter. That's not him. No, that's a meme. That's funny though that you actually thought it was him. I thought that was him. I'm like, uh, damn, I used to watch him. So you probably really thinking that he Corey no, Baxter? Seriously. I thought that was him for real. Oh damn, that's I ain't crazy. lying to you. I thought that was him for real. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> I thought that was him. Nah, for real. a lot of people uh, have have kind of joked around about that, but no, nah, I mean, I wouldn't say he's a comedian. He he's a real committed crip, but he also like. He knows it's funny, so he'll sometimes be doing skits and just be like hyping shit up and everything. But now he's really so look, he's about that. What what, what he rap? Like, he raps a little bit. So I, what what exactly what he what he known for? I mean, to be real, like he was just a dude with an Instagram, just talking shit and making these funny ass videos. And then I okay. asked him to do an interview, and then he has probably done like three hundred interviews since then with just all kinds of different outlets and stuff. Okay. And yeah, he makes music, but he he does interviews and shit. I don't know exactly. He's he's always working on some kind of new hustle, you know. Yeah, I ain't mad at him. And another motherfucker though, Charleston. Ugh. Charleston White, how you feel about they, they him? Man, they got to leave that man alone, man. Leave <laughs> Charleston alone. Leave him alone. Leave that. That's a grown man, man. Leave that man alone. Man. Charleston crazy in the motherfucker, man. You yeah. see him with DJ U? I keep a gun. I keep a gun. Yeah, I, 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 that was real. I mean. I asked him, like, bro, was that real, bro? Like, this is just me. I asked DJ U. He said it was real. I know. I kind of don't know if I believe him, though. That shit seemed crazy. Man, I'm, he looked like, I'm like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, keep it on. He know. He, yeah, he was bro, he was tweaking, bro. He was tweaking. Right. So maybe maybe he was playing. Yeah. Maybe, maybe Charles and White was like, all right, this, this, this gonna go up type shit. But I don't yeah. know, man. But I don't think I don't think he knew about it. I don't think he knew he was gonna do that. If you're doing an interview and somebody starts grabbing their bag and saying that they have a gun, you need to have somebody else in the room to make sure that he is not able to go grab a gun, right? Yeah, yeah. For sure, hell yeah. So we, that's why we create a safe environment. We got security. They make sure they pat people down, make sure everything's all good. Jay Main was actually the worst person we ever had to deal with in terms of not wanting to give up his shit. Yeah. His whoop, if you will. Yeah, Jay Main, funny as hell. Mm. Um, okay. So you, you were saying that your friend got killed uh, right the other day or whatever, and then it was being reported that it was your manager. Was that not true? It was just your friend? No, nah, no, nah, I just one of the guys. You know... That's like one thing about us, you will learn. Like, we just sometimes we just be talking shit. Cause mm-hmm. he, man, this my man. I'm, I'm his manager, man. Look, I dress my style. He's just talking shit. You know, this my man, though. Right. This is one of the guys, guys. Held me down while I was locked up. You feel me? So, yeah, that's my dog, though. Okay. What was his name? Little dude. People call him Huncho. That wasn't his name. That was just from Instagram. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But he was Honey Gang. So, okay. We always Honey Gang once upon a time. So, it's just his name, Little Dude, though. But is it kind of crazy to have some some traumatizing shit happen in your personal life, and then all of a sudden it just becomes like Instagram headlines, like right away, yeah. everybody trying yeah. to come up with a narrative about it. Yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm <clears throat> getting the hang of it quick. Then you got people like saying little shit about it, which pumping it up, like. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's why I, don't, I ain't like I, don't, I ain't with none of that, mm-hmm. none of that talking about. No, I ain't with that. That's that's fears to me. Mm. For sure. Definitely. Um, okay, final question. Would you do a boxing match with Wooski? With Wooski. I ain't really got no smoke with Wooski. Oh, okay. Wooski too little for me though. No. Loose, he too little. I probably be, he too little for me, bro. I, I like I've been in jail working out, bro. I'm <laughs> I'm be somebody ass, bro. That's it. I'm the I'm the best fighter, bro. On my son, I'm beat him up for who, ass. Who would be a good fight for, for Tay Savage if you were gonna do a boxing match in Chicago? 
Maybe not in Chicago. Yeah, you give me a name, I'm gonna let you know. I'm gonna let you know, like, yeah, I probably. Okay, but you're not calling out fights. Who? You. Call out a motherfucker? You're not gonna call anyone out, yeah. but if we name them, you'll give us your opinion? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll give my opinion. Hmm. I'm trying to see who I can think of that'll make sense for you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I mean, it gotta be. It gotta make sense. It can't be no little skinny motherfucker right. or no over big motherfucker. But you down a box of op if it was on some friendly. On oh, my son, I be, yes, yeah, I yeah, do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. It's not an op, but I feel like him and Brick Baby are kind of similarly sized. Brick Baby. He's, he does podcasts on here with me. Where you from? L. A. Oh. Yeah, I, I, shit. If you want to do it, I'll do it. <laughs> anybody. <laughs> that would be shit, epic. Anybody. <laughs> You'd have all L. A. and Chicago watching that shit. Um. All right. Uh, what 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 plans you got? You you headed back to Chicago? Yeah, yeah. Shit, I'm I'm out probably for a few more days, man. Then okay. I'm, I'm gonna shake it, you know. But anyway, yeah, man, I, I got a lot of little shit dropping. Me and me and bro just did just drop some. Gotta hear the Gigi Gotti Tay Savage collab. That's gonna be crazy. Yeah, folks and Los, they go crazy. We shot a mm. video to it. We did it the same day. Shot a video on the same day. Bro, them walked walk me to their hood, showed me over love. You feel me? So, um. I really been out here working. I shot two more videos. That's so be looking out for that. Um, the gaming thing, be looking out for that. My YouTube, get a um Tay Savage forty three forty. Get over with that. Um, like, subscribe, all that. When I saw that you were coming out here, I was thinking, and you said you were shooting a music video. I was thinking, like, what are the odds that you might be linking up with Glow Gang, doing some music with them? I don't even know them. what it is. Who's Glow Gang? Chief, Chief Keeps people. Oh, oh, no, nah, no. I don't, I don't really, I'm not really in uh, communication with them. Okay. Yeah. Maybe somebody man, could set it up. That man, would be an epic collaboration, though. I hate to even end it on this one, but since you brought it up, uh, it was like rumors that you and Ball Out got into it before in the, back in the day. Y'all had a relationship? No, nah, no. Nah, I really ain't know Ball Out. We had a little, a little altercation, but it really wasn't none. It didn't really lead to none because of the, the crowds or whatever. But Ball Out really been chilling. Like, they've they been, I think, you know, they were so so they... Yeah. They really been chill. I don't really be seeing them hearing nothing about them. That's what's up, though. They out the way. That's what you can say about Sosa and Tato and Ball Out and all them is that they kind of got into their situation, came out here, and kind of left all the bullshit back in Chicago alone. It's mine, man, because it's still going on in the city. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's, I don't fault them out. That must be the crazy thing for you is getting out after all that time. And sometimes it feels like, you know, there's just very few people who managed to survive the, the time period that you were gone. They either moved up out of Chicago or they just didn't make it. Yeah, you'll be surprised. There's some motherfuckers you're like, man, you know his ass not gonna be dead by the time. But he doing good. He probably moved to Alaska somewhere, got three, four businesses. Then there's some people that didn't ever did nothing, to nobody, and he did. Mm. So man, it's just Chicago. Folks. If you if you can get some crazy features on your uh, project that you got coming out, who would you want to work with? Not Chicago, just like industry related. Fifty. Fifty cent. Really. 50 for oh, sure. Oh, 50. 50. You got all at them, man. If you see yeah. this for sure. It was crazy. I just holiday. Yeah, yo. I'll tell you. Yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah, yo. Like, man, I'm being about something that got Tay Savage, bro. FaceTime me. I'm, I'm hollering at him. That's all. And that, that was, that, that really made me like, oh, yeah, I got to turn up. I just, I just talked to Tony Yayo. <laughs> Straight up. But 50, um, um, let me see. They got to be high, high like that or. Just anybody you ever like. Nah, I like, famous. I like 50. I like Gotti. I like Moneybag. Mm. Um. Um. And, you know, I've been going, so it's a lot of people I don't know. But I be listening. I'm like, yeah, I like him. I like him. Um. It's somebody else. Let me see. Who from New York? I I want to do something with somebody from New York too. You listen to any of the Bronx drill type stuff? The drill music coming out of New York? Yeah, I be hearing him. I just don't really be like, you know, what I'm saying, knowing like, oh, that's. But yeah, yeah, I, I be hearing it for sure. It is kind of crazy when you compare like the average Chicago drill to that shit because it's so much faster and like more aggressive, yeah. and they be rapping in these crazy yeah, ass they, they voices voice sometimes. Like, yeah, like 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 that super, pop smoke type, super of. demonic sounding yeah. voices. Yeah, for sure. I like it though. They be talking that shit and that shit. How you yeah. feel about uh, drill having all this influence on like not even just America, like even you had Khadija out there. She like from the UK. You got the UK drill scene. You got. The New York drill scene, like, how do you feel about the influence that y'all had on everybody? I feel like it's beautiful, for sure. But one thing I can say about, like, Chicago, Chicago always, like, had their own, like, they own, like, it's like words we say or anything, it always, like, pick like, up. Yeah, like, go viral, I say, or whatever. Yeah, always, you know what I'm saying? So we always had, like, our own little swag type of thing. But, 
Yeah. So you don't be hating on the UK drill or the no, New York? No, hell no. I like them. it. Yeah, I, yeah. I just told Khadija, find me somebody to do a feature out there. Yeah. I want to I wanna do something with somebody out there. She's supposed to send me somebody, matter of fact. Hmm. But. Interesting. Maybe I could think of some names as well. That would be pretty epic. Man, yeah. UK, you find somebody from Jamaica, you Africa can, doing some drill. I'm, you I'm can leave the, can them. you leave the country? No, I can't leave the country. They're going to have to come to the rack. Mm, that might make it a little yeah. tough, yeah. Wait, you got to check into probation or whatever forever? Or for a long time? No, nah, no. Nah, shit, I'm trying to get off early, so I've been doing so good, you feel me? Mm. But, yeah. For sure. All right, well, yo, I appreciate you coming through and everything. Appreciate you for having me. Epic interview. Yeah. We're all very big fans, and I think that you're going to have a crazy couple of years. You're about to blow the fuck up in the very near future, so I'm glad we were able to get this in. Yeah, for sure. Oh, for sure. Appreciate you Good talking with you, bro. Yeah. yeah. Tay Savage, shout out my boy Remo, yeah, No man. Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, shout TikTok, out Patreon. Shout out my man Geechee Gotti, NoJumper.com if you want to support.